<laughs> Maul is definitely the, the input in the studio. Go, yo, just try a little Ace to the Izzo right there in the middle of the verse. <laughs> Those people are important in the studio. No, they no. Are. Yeah, you know what? And I think you have just given me the, the first shout out. So let me let me introduce this shit. Because uh, those people are underrated. Yeah, they are. They are. Them yeah. niggas be getting jerked too. Yeah, <laughs> they, be, they be coming up with the smash. Yeah. Oh, we be robbing no love on stage yeah. at the Grammys. Like yo, stage great credits. Then, thank God, pub. <laughs> we don't even Pony know them pub. niggas when the pub come at all. They wrote yeah, the right. whole second verse. <laughs> uh, microphone check one two. What is this? Welcome to another wonderful edition of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Button, here with a few niggas. That's all right. Maul is here, <laughs> Parks is here, Rory is here, Erickson is here, Savon is here, Screen Man is here. I want to shout out to our Spotify listenership, our YouTube viewership, and I want to shout out to all of you beautiful people who give your input in the studio just freely without compensation. Yeah. Y'all make this shit go round, man. Y'all not, more important to the culture. To be- but you, know, you know who it, what it is, is there's a lot of people that put input in the studio and we don't want it. So oh, it that, fucks it up for everybody. You have to well, know your that's, role. That's yeah. not to be confused with the girl that just pops her. I like that one. And then gets on Twitter and be like, I told French this was the one. I should be an A&R. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we need, if I had a nickel for all of the girly A&Rs mm-hmm. that yeah. pick the single. Yeah. That's another good conversation. Uh, studio atmosphere. Mm. Because you mentioned the people in the studio that just throw out, throw out a thought or idea to anything. Should and be I hate that. But some people, I would imagine, may like that atmosphere. Mm, I hate that atmosphere. That obvious guy, like, yo, J. Cole would be ill on that yeah, feature. Right. Like, oh, yo, oh, kill thanks. this is home. Yeah. <laughs> you know who would kill this? Drake. Yeah, oh, shit. Yo, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, yo, you should try to get Drizzy on yeah, this hook. Yeah, <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I, I, didn't like, I, didn't, I didn't like that either. I like the... Well, I feel like there's a time in the studio to do that. Yeah. yeah you got to let the person cook first right. for sure and yeah. then when they come out to test the food a little bit right when they ask say, for when it look like they're asking for a reaction and feedback yeah. yeah when yeah when the rapper's in there playing the same song with the door open on the bigs <laughs> for like three hours he's in the middle of something probably trying to see what you guys think about it <laughs> <laughs> for sure he's trying yeah. to get some feedback that's true too hey, hey, you guys are important too the niggas in the studio that just nod your head to shit <laughs> nah, just got to look up and see a little head nod, man, yeah, for man. encouragement. Let the true. artist feel like he's on the right track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but everything sounds great on the bigs. That's true. Like, send it to me so I can listen to it on my I, phone. Actually, I've heard some bullshit on the bigs. I've heard some, a lot of bullshit yeah, on I've the bigs. Yeah, I've heard some bullshit on the bigs before. But, it's but like, it makes, yeah. like, something average much better, definitely. Yeah. The bigs. But some trash is when trash. When you hear bullshit on the bigs, all you have to say is, I see where you was going. You know what I'm saying? I see what you said. Nah, that shit was knocking. Yo, yeah, that shit was knocking. Yo, I like the beat, just not for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was knocking. That was knocking. It's all knocking. Yeah, it's yeah, all yeah. knocking. It doesn't matter. Everything. Everything on the bigs knocks. I'm real bad at getting out of that, like, when a bad song is played and you have to get feedback. Oh, me too. You bad at getting out of it? Yeah. I, I used to be bad at that. I'm bad at N- it. Now I'm just, nah, it's not it, guy. Yeah, you, yeah, you can see your how I feel about your song on my face. Yeah, like yeah. I can't hide it with a oh, all right. Yeah, Ooh, no. when, when they when you hit them with that, yeah. yeah, I'm always good for it. Yo, I think you're better than that. Mm. That's my way to get out of it. I've heard you do better <laughs> than this before. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't really like in that that yeah. bag. You know what I mean? Yeah. On the last mixtape, <laughs> on your old shit, <laughs> you should do that again. See, I'm scared of that one because then they might try to debate it with you. Like, <laughs> 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 no, nah, but on the last shit, it's like, whoa, I, I don't know, bro. You got it. You got it. <laughs> I try to just bypass like, oh, you got the second one lined up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, so what's the plan? You got a date yet? Like, just yeah, avoid we're, we're, the whole ooh, shit. Yeah. Hey, ooh, when you coming? Yeah. When you... <laughs> <laughs> well, this feels like third quarter. Oh, it feels <laughs> like it. <laughs> when you coming? Yo. Oh, that's soon. <laughs> that's soon. You, you think they ready? <laughs> <laughs> Asking the artists when they coming. Is... <laughs> I always ask that. Yo, when you coming? When they, when they, want, you to, when they want you to drop? Yeah, what's your situation? Like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got like a deal. So <laughs> you got like a deal. <laughs> I'm kind of mad I even let my when you coming bag out. <laughs> like that was that was one of my joints. That was your only go to. Yeah, the like, like, to go. I'm interested in this. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't wait till this is in my phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, nah, I wouldn't even send that around if I'm you. <laughs> if I'm you. <laughs> Oh my God! Uh, shout out to all Spotify listenership, YouTube viewership. So shout out to the lies. people in the in the studio that had lies. Uh, so on. many lies happen in the studio. Oh yeah, yeah. Strip yeah. club or li- uh, strip club or studio? Where studio. where are more lies given? Well, 
That's I would, that's I would want up. to say strip club. I'm going with the studio. There's a lot of lies in the studio. I'm going with the strip, strip club. club. Yeah, I'm, going, I'm definitely going with the strip, strip, strip club. club. Yeah, I mean, my girl, we ain't even together no more. <laughs> oh, you talking about from the nigga? I'm <laughs> from the chicks. Oh, no, yeah, I'm talking about the chick all the way around. I'm talking oh, about God. the chick line. Shit, how, did, how do you think this bar got full? A bunch yeah. of lies. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> that's a fact. A bunch of yeah and Gwilla next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm free. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> shout out to Flight see, <laughs> see, I'm not on that level. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, yes, you are. All right, my bad. My bad. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Get your head on my face. Well, don't nigga. do that then. All right, fucking uh, shout out to all you niggas, man. Uh, how y'all doing? <laughs> Coming off of that, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Y'all good? good. Yeah, man. Feeling good. Come on, good. come on, what's up? Give me a weekend recap. Mixie Boys was back in the building after a long hiatus. Small and we Rory. Was, we was. We had a little reunion tour. Yeah. Mall's on the Palooza docket from here on out. Mall. Like not what's your rider look you like? I'm not, yeah. No. Yes, I, you are. I, I put I you had, on the uh, flyer. Just I had hop. I had to see what his rate was. Oh, okay. Oh, we, it was in the budget. So yeah. let me, hey, let me explain to the new listeners what we're joking about right now. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. I'm done, yeah, nah. I'm done with y'all. <laughs> we're going to start giving some context here. Maul and Rory went to Boston together. We did. Yeah. Rory went for business, mm-hmm. and Maul went for business. Yeah. But we can't never talk but about... There was a different tone. <laughs> yeah, there was a different tone. I don't, mean, know. I don't, I don't know, know how you did that, but you did that. <laughs> I, don't know what you, I don't know what you guys are talking about. No, no, nothing. I just went to hang out, man. I just said... Oh, so yeah. it was personal. Yeah, I just went to hang out. All right, well, tell us about your experience. It was cool, man. It was cool. I, I walked around the crowd a lot. Share your truths. I had... <laughs> I walked around the crowd a lot, man. I had, to, I had to see. I had, had to, to see touch the, the people. Yeah, I had to see what the Palooza Open crowd was about. Open this dialogue up. Yeah, I'm, I'm opening up. You see it? You see what I'm doing? <laughs> yeah, I just had to walk around and see what the people were doing. And that Palooza crowd is different, man. It's, it's different it's, how? Well, more, well, no, it's, no, not different. Well, first of all, you knew they were different because you've been there a bunch of times. Number one, but number I've two, never walked your around. Your friend fucking owns it. Him and Benner. <laughs> yeah, like, but I've never. But we never. But we never walked around. But now around. I've never seen how Boston give it up. Come on. When that was the first time they did it, was a little different. Now I feel you. First time in Boston, you know. Yeah, and I, and I always put you guys like up in the exactly the matinee skybox, yeah. and you can just watch like in Boston. You had to be in the shits. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> There was no, like, separate staircase of the green room. You had no. to go through the people. Yeah. All right, so one of you gentlemen share a story to make me and Parks wish we were there. <laughs> I don't know if I have a story that will make y'all wish y'all. And I, I wish you weren't there. Yeah, it was I fine. don't know Damn. if it's a story to make you wish you were in the oh, building. Like It wasn't fab, like that. Fab performed? See, I don't like Rory. See, that's exactly why I don't like Rory. Rory that's how Rory front on this podcast. On this podcast, he don't really be wanting me to go nowhere. But when he go to his little events, he be shooting me a little text. Yo, yeah, it's kind of litty. Yeah, because we friends. <laughs> Yeah, we kind of working here. Fuck out of here. Yeah, it was kind of litty. All right, so go ahead. No, it looked that way. I saw pictures. No, it was a really good time. It looked Fab, Fab performed and did a, a medley in 20 minutes of was every, it a suicide? Every hit ever. It was yeah, it was a suicide. Yeah, it, was it was certainly a suicide. Suicide, suicide box, for sure. But <laughs> y'all niggas classic <laughs> bar. <laughs> Yeah, I, I gotta be honest. I didn't think Parks had that one in the tuck. What does he know about a suicide? You never know. Her feet were killing her. Yeah. So, and if her feet are killing her, yeah, it's a suicide. And if you kill yourself, mm-hmm. oh, but with your feet, wait, it's a suicide. Stop! I keep laughing. Somebody, somebody got a meme or something going around talking about Biggie on a. What's on my Big Papa talking about? You, you got a gun up in your place. I mean, your waist, please don't shoot up the place. Why? Nigga, about why? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, why? Big why? But the way they said why, too. <laughs> and then he answered him. Because I see some nah. ladies tonight. And that's true. Yeah. That's true. You got to tell your man to chill. All right, so I'm not doing this. <laughs> but what a calm today. way. Yeah. Because I see some ladies tonight. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so Boston, no, Boston was great. Yeah, and we've... Uh, Nobody and I, fucked. Everybody was faithful. Course, Nobody got had any of that type of energy going with I a young lady out the there. Nah, it was yeah. just like a guy trip in occasion. It was a, a few like hours. A fellas turn around. And uh, now we try to book acts and shit, so I always loved the front row of the person that came to see the act and has no idea what this is. It was a... A white gentleman with a locks baggy hoodie on and a, a you fitted. Know you know he, he had, he had a, a Freddie vs. Jason vinyl. I didn't even know they made those. <laughs> he had, the, he had yeah. the We Are The Streets hoodie on. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't talking he, to no he women. Was there, he was there at 4 p.m. Wait, at Soundcheck. Waiting. <laughs> he brought the vinyl to do say For six hours looking at Chris Styles' fucking Millie Rock. Like, what am I at? Where yeah. is Fab? <laughs> he was waiting for Fab. 
But well, Fab knew him though. Like he's every, wherever Fab is at, he's there. Oh, okay. Like Fab knew him. Fab was like, nah, he'd be at the airport. He'd be. I was like, oh, so you, this is like a. He was like, yeah, like I know him, cool dude. But he wasn't there for the. <laughs> no, he, he wasn't was there for the. He was thoroughly confused. Six was the twerking on the left time. and right of him. He was looking at the stage the whole night. He didn't care about none of that. <laughs> he was shit. focused, laser oh, yeah, focused. Yeah. yeah. How long was uh, how long was the Fab set? Twenty minutes, probably. Yeah. It's nice. But set. Fab has a lot. Like when you really think about it, Fab has a lot of fucking records that he could have done. Yeah. That he didn't, and you like, but you realize, see, Fab been doing this shit twenty years. Yeah, Fab can do a good hour of hits easily, easily, easily. Yeah. easily for so sure. So double what Trey could give me. <laughs> No, triple. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving right along. We're gonna take control, taking back control. Triple. I was sitting here thinking there was too much do say talk anyway. <laughs> uh, but you guys had fun. Boston we did. Good. We're we're, uh, yeah, we're cool. doubling back. We in Dallas on Friday. Mall too. Me and, me and Mall. Oh, Mall is going to Dallas. Did you go on stage? Now. No. Did I go on stage? Yeah. No. Why would I go on stage? Because you're mall. mall. Side of the stage is not on stage. Yeah, you're on it. Yeah. it, it they can oh. see you. Ew, wait, 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 wait. No, no, don't do that. Don't do Let me unhear it. Unhear it. Please unhear it. Please unhear it. You're not telling me that about my guy. You're not telling me he that. He was like on the side where he could be seen, yeah. but not oh, be on oh stage. I was standing with Rory. Oh with the hat low. <laughs> it keeps getting worse. What <laughs> me? Mo, come on. Don't do that. You, you don't want me to stand on the side and watch the, the fab perform? I don't want you to drive to Boston and stand next to Pink Rory on the stage <laughs> who's throwing the event while Fab is performing. Yeah. Uh, half of your body edged out the curtain so they could see you <laughs> doing an aggressive nod to you be killing them. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was like, Little, it was all you see is brim Ooh. and yeah. curtain. No, I was a little cooler than she that. You do be killing him. No. <laughs> uh, it was a little cooler than I that. I see how he gave it this. I see why he. I see why he did this tonight. <laughs> yeah, you know that's nasty, Maul. You nasty. What for you that. mean? You know that's Where nasty. would you like for me to stand and watch? The not show? there. Come on. Okay, I'll, I'll not, find a not on the stage. All right, so I'll, I'll stand in the middle of the crowd. Yo, all <laughs> of you, and while I'm let's 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 use this as a teaching moment. All of you niggas that go to places to stand on the stage when the artist is performing, if you're not the brother or the mother, get <laughs> the fuck off the stage. Why are you on the stage? The it's mother, annoying. The mother shouldn't be at Duce Palooza. Nah. You don't want your mom at Duce Palooza. I mean, my mom brought in my 33rd birthday together at Melody. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think about half of our staff's mothers have been at Palooza. Hey, on the stage, yo, you know, no, no, there's a mom section. Our staff, <laughs> don't don't say that again. Uh, all right, where would you gentlemen like to start? Come on, let's talk hip hop. Let's pod. God damn it, let's come on. Hip-hop. The pod streets are crowded. Ti is coming. Yep. <laughs> oh, come. he's number one. That is true. And his company is no uh, that uh, that network. I think technically, I well, know I'm not sharing anything for Spotify, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> They're trash. Uh, and I'm happy. I'm happy that uh, uh, Ti's podcast is starting. No, he's great. I thought, he's great I thought, for podcasting. I thought that was an interesting conversation listening to him and Cube and LL talk about shit. Because who's not going to listen to Cube and LL talk about some shit? Yeah, I got to. Who's, who's the best actor in that in that trail? Cube. I'm gonna go with Cube too. Go with Cube. And we're going with Cube based off what? I just think that he's made better movies. Acted in or made? Acted in. Oh, and I did made. pretty well in uh, American Gangster. And LL killed in SWAT. <laughs> <laughs> and, the one, and the shark one. And that I like, was the one. I like LL and what's my... Uh, Halloween? There's no parts. <laughs> what is it? Mine Hunters? I think Mine Hunters is the name of that movie that LL... LL made. might be the best actor out of those three. And he, LL does NCIS. I'm not trying to shit on uh, Ice Cube, of course, but LL's done a lot of shit. LL has had a, a sitcom. <clears throat> yeah, I had a sitcom. Come on, I'm not rolling with Ice Cube. Okay, as a better but actor. are we there yet? And ride along, <laughs> ride along too. You ride along too. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's um, great. Boys in the Hood. That was good acting. All right, come on. That's not where we were. Barber shop. <laughs> all right, come uh, on. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, but how did that even come up? What are you talking about? Uh, Ti's podcast. podcast. Oh no, but we weren't talking about that either. No, but we're here, so. No, no, I don't want to talk about that. Yeah, oh, we never started talking about that now? No, 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 no. Oh, shout out to T.I. then. <laughs> um, no, I wanted to start with the Takashi trial um, because this is a conversation I've been having behind the scenes with a few people uh, just about wh- where we think this is... <laughs> Just about where we think this is going. But this is a conversation that's been being had behind the scenes for maybe a year. Of course, more than yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Before they was arrested. Yeah, yeah. And we got to September pretty quick. I'll, I'll, I'll say that. Mm-hmm. Like when they when the reports were going, oh, Takashi's trying in September. Like, damn, he's got to sit for a little bit. That, that happened yeah. quickly. Yeah. Um, so Shadi was sentenced to 15 years. Mm-hmm. Any shocker there? 
No. Any hot takes there? Any surprises no. there? No. Really. There was that no. one month. There was that one month where they were saying we didn't know who the second <laughs> second informant would be. Maybe it's Shoddy. Yeah, I remember when they were that. That, that went around for a month. That died pretty quickly. Yeah. So 15 years. Uh, do we have that clip? Let me find a clip. <clears throat> If you had the opportunity today to just see Takashi, would you like just think of just this like a hypoth hypothetically? Like if you saw him, what what would you have to say to him? Mm. I just let him know I pity him, man. Like I, I forgive him. I pity him, but uh, like, oh, you, you, you ain't have to go that route. Like you, ain't, you really ain't have to do this, man. And it's not. Forget about me and him. The, 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 the fam, the families of the people around us that had nothing to do. Um, nobody forced him to do anything that he was. All right, and that's where it ends. I want to ask you, gentlemen. <clears throat> What y'all think about what you just heard? Uh, y'all take a second to answer. It just I just realized I'd never played the drops, so I'm gonna play drops. <laughs> no, no drop No, no warrior man. This, 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 this park. What's that? Uh, the, <laughs> okay, now we're back, gentlemen. <laughs> Got the hand rubbing. Uh, Got to get the hand rubbing. Yeah. We can't even have a good pod without that. No. Um, something, something fell off. What do you guys think of what you just heard? And I'm asking as it relates to all of uh, all of the things Takashi has said about this. He said that uh, somebody was fucking his baby moms. He said that they kidnapped him. He said they tried to kill him. He said that, you know, he said he was being forced to do all these things. Uh, Here's shot. He has a different account. Just what are your opinions on it? I mean, he had another account in a few words, more or less. I just saw someone that's kind of at peace and over the whole situation with it. No. Oh. That's really what I took from it. <clears throat> okay. From what from Shadi just said? Mm-hmm. Where'd you get that peace from? His face, his How tone of you, voice, I, not, just a feeling. Can you be at peace and pity someone? Can you be at yeah, peace? Yeah, of course. course. I'm just asking. <clears throat> that's of course, probably where yeah. you get the most pity off. Yeah. And may, maybe peace is too strong of a word, but but someone that has accepted what's happened and is ready to move forward with the consequences okay. of it. Got yeah, it. I, I think Shadi has. I think his lawyers have informed him a while of what was what the yeah, outcome yeah, would yeah. be. Yeah. 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 I think this is information. It, yeah, he didn't walk into that courtroom and <clears throat> thinking maybe I'll be blind it. and didn't know what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think you know, and I, from from the beginning, his stance was clear. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, he he doesn't bend, he doesn't fold. He gonna take his time like a man. He gonna take, you know. That's what he was saying. Yeah. So he, you know, I didn't, I didn't expect him to waver any. I didn't expect him to, you know, the way he was talking on that is is, is pretty much his, nothing has changed. His stance has always been the same. He's taking account for his, you know, his responsibility and what he did. He's taking account for, you know, whatever he may be charged with. He's like, yo, listen, uh, you know, I'm what it is. This is what it is. You know, what I mean, yeah. this is what I was involved with, or or whatever. Some things may be true, some things may maybe not, but he knows for the most part what was to come. Like he wasn't blindsided by any of this. Do you think that that's the only part that I paused at in that when he was like, uh, right or wrong, that's my man. So ain't wasn't no wrong in my eyes. Do you think that's a toxic way of thinking that that we kind of need to address in our urban, as far urban as what? neighborhoods? Not correcting your man if he's wrong in your eyes, not pulling him up, not just riding with your man on the strength that that's your man. Well, Good, I'm bad, or indifferent. Well, no matter I'm, what the result for is. me, for me, it's always, um, you know, and it was a, it was a part in a snowfall, like, I think the last episode where it it was something like, you know, his uh, Franklin's homeboy had did something wrong. Spoiler alert. And no, it's, it's out already. And um, that, that's still, that's <laughs> what spoiler alert seen means. Oh, oh, it's well, fine. So you're spoiling it's, it's been out it's fine. and alerting him. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> and alerting. So, yeah, he, he, you know, he, in front of. <laughs> In front of someone else, he didn't correct his man. He stood with his man. He was like, "Listen, that's my man. His family. That it, it is what it already, is." Already, I want to see this, and you're spoiling it. Right, but then, <laughs> but then, once you, once y'all get alone, once they got alone, he told his homeboy, "Yo, you wrong, and I'm not gonna let you fuck up 
this whole situation based on some personal feelings and emotions. And I think, you know, that's how you should uh, uh, address your homeboy. Like, in front of the world and opposition, listen, I'm going to ride with you. Whatever decision you make, I got your back. But when we get alone, I'm going to let you know when you was wrong. I'm not going to do it in front of the world. And I'm not going to, you know, scold you and, 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 and you know, come at you in front of the, the, the opposition or in front of our enemies. But behind closed doors, where you know, we family, mm-hmm. I'm going to let you know, yo, what you did was whack. You're moving wrong. You shouldn't move like that. And I think that's how we should move. Like, you know what I'm saying? You tell your friends behind closed doors, yo, don't do that. And you would hope that they apply that in the world when they get out in the real world. Like, you would hope that they take heed to what you're saying and move like that. But if they don't, you know I mean, shoddy stances, I'm going to ride with homie. That's you know, my man. I'm going to ride with him. You know, it's funny that you say that. I, I agree with you. I think, and, and I think that is how friendship should be built i also think that today in this age of having all these fake friendships i think a lot of the relationships are predicated on people never having friction tension or a serious conversation with one another Mm -hmm. we avoid a lot of serious conversation as friends yeah because we in in fear of you know he might take it the wrong way or she might take it the wrong way uh you know i don't want them to feel like you know i I feel some type of way about them yeah you know, and it's just like, yo, listen, if that's your friend and you really care about this person, you should absolutely have real conversations. I think it helps the friendship. It grows the friendship. Yeah. And you just respect each other on a different level. Yeah, my uh, my whole way of thinking changed uh, a million years ago when I when I learned or when somebody taught me, listen, keep it a being with your friends. If they get mad, they'll get over it if they're your friends. Like, absolutely. Yeah. And from that point on, it was like, oh, great. I, then I just spent the rest of my life trying to piss my friends off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I think it's, it's and it's, this is the group that stayed. <laughs> <laughs> Real friends made a business out of it. <laughs> yeah, but it's healthy, man. I mean, you 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 should have serious conversations. You should have arguments and debates, and you should know the difference between an argument and a debate. That's important in friendship because yeah. we're not always arguing. True. Sometimes we just debating, That's and true. sometimes debates become arguments. Sometimes, depending yeah. on. See, what it and is. then I and then it, there's friends. There's friends that. You know, and, and we off on a tangent now, but fuck it. Let's talk about friendships. Uh, <laughs> there's friends that, nah, man, we're never going to fight. Like, we, we're not going to fight. That's, mm-hmm. that's us. No mm-hmm. matter what happens, me and this person, we are not ever going to fight. Mm-hmm. There's some other friends with, yeah, I could fuck him up and we could be cool the next yeah. week. Like, yeah. we could walk around the corner and, yeah. like, we could go through whatever. I, I hear you, <laughs> but I still, I don't know if I could really consider someone a friend friend if we don't fight. Like physically? No, fight? I mean physically. Oh, physically. Oh, I was sorry. I thought we were talking about. All right, we moved no, on. No, no, I was both. I've had both. I have a lot of friends that are just, we're so like minded that we don't really ever fight. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Well, there's no argument yeah. there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We'll have little arguments about what some dumb shit, football or, yeah. you know, something Stupid inconsequential, yeah. but mm-hmm. we're not going to argue about life. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But then I have other friends who we literally have punched each other in the face and fucking and then fine, gotten a in scrap an and then, yeah, go grab a drink. But that usually happens that white boy when you're shit. like out drinking yeah. and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's, white, that's white boy privilege. That's, yeah, that's white boy privilege. Yeah. <laughs> you punch one of the homies in their face. I don't know if it's going, you know what I mean? Y'all never got like, like a fist fight with your, your friends? Friends, friends? Not not none of my real close friends. Not like and not out o- to not kill. Over, not not like, over a drink. Yeah, well, no, no, I'm not, not talking about over. I'm saying I'd grab a drink afterwards. Yeah. And a lot but there of, may have been drinking before, too. A lot of that happens with, with people you grew up, like your friends you grew up with. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. That's yeah. where a lot more of the scrapping friends happen because you're younger and you do that when you're younger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I don't know in my 30s <clears throat> that that'll be a, a thing me and my yeah, friends will do. Yeah, it hasn't happened in a decade, at least, for me. I'm not fighting my friends in my 30s. I'm not doing that. No. No, I think I won't do that a few times. You want to you want to fight your friends in your thirties? No, I think that almost happened with me. Me and Amani almost fought in the studio one time. So me and Vern yeah, almost fought five that. times. <laughs> yeah, but that's... me and me and if I just sit here and think, I can think of a bunch of friends that I almost fought. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it happens. I'm not <laughs> saying it doesn't happen. You're not like really trying to like it kill don't, each don't other. Affect. You're just no, scrapping. No, You're just scrapping. No, no. Yeah. no, and and listen, me and the, the people I'm naming, I love Vern and Amani. Yeah. And that's never occurred. But I like the friendships. We let them know that they, we can take it there a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's healthy. Yeah, yeah, it, is. it is. I have no idea how we got here. <laughs> well, talking about shoddy and Takashi's oh, yes, yes, relationship. Yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. Or lack thereof. Or lack thereof. Because, I mean, I can't really speak to the texture of the relationship. We just kind of have what we've seen yeah. to process. Mm-hmm. Uh, are you, we ever going to see Takashi again? Uh-huh. That, that's that's where my conversation starts. Not really what happened with uh, Shoddy and the, and the sentence that he got, but what is next for Takashi? Can he, can he sustain... Or, or get his music career back where it once was. No, I don't think no. so. To so where it once was, I I don't know if the government will allow that to happen. 
for him being a cooperating witness. Well, I don't why know why wouldn't his... they allow it? They fucking control the music. <laughs> yeah, but this is a <laughs> no, this is a different type of scenario. Going into though. Witsec, there's rules. I don't know if you can even be on. Oh, the that's internet. what you're saying. Got it. Got it. Yeah, I, I don't know if they'll allow that. But we've had this. We had this conversation a year ago. I still think you he know could what. Come Let out. me take that back because this era, I don't know what the fuck. That's is what I was saying a year ago. When y'all killed me. I don't know. And here's the thing: when I saw Shoddy get 15 years and and looked at the timeline and just looked around what people were saying, people didn't say much at all. Mm-hmm. Which makes me think even more that Takashi could come out and be successful. Uh, well, what yeah. were they supposed to say when he got 15? Yeah, I think uh, a little bit more outrage about Takashi snitching, more or less. <clears throat> but did, did Takashi snitch? He hasn't even. That's another. The, he thing. hasn't even took the stand yet. He's taking the stand. Well, he would. Ha- well, he's pleading guilty <laughs> to something. I think in all the plea deals, they're taking the plea deals because they say we have a cooperating witness that's ready to testify against you. Yeah, but that's how it goes. Yeah, you don't need to leave the house to make music. Okay. True. You need the house to. You need to leave the house to make an impact. Make the impact. Make business happen. And that's why I don't think that he'll his business was be able a lot to sustain of- a music career because I think that people want to kill him. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Yeah, and we all talk about all the time about how streaming is so shitty as far as payouts. So yeah, you could put out a single. You if it sells a million copies, are you going to be able to make a living off doing that? No, you make your money off shows and merch and. Shit that would you require to get out you there to and touch the people. To, yeah, to leave yeah the but house. the streaming people would eat it up if there were a bunch of songs about some up people trying to kill him. Word. <laughs> yeah. But I'm just saying, w- would he be able to make a living doing it? I don't know. Maybe a little bit of a living, but not the will kind Tekashi, of living he's been making. And, and will he be able to put music out? Like that. Will he be able to put music out? Maybe. Probably. Do I think that he'll be where he was before all of this? No. I think that's fair. I, I'm, I'm kind of I'm, with, I'm whatever, still with Rory with Whatever I, the government I don't know that the government Is letting him out of uh, Wherever the fuck he is Because they're not going to tell anybody Where he is No, no. His name won't even be protection. Daniel mm-hmm. Hernandez like. Yeah There's no more tattoos There's no more rainbow hair Yeah Yeah No, nah, I don't think I don't think people are going to see him I don't know if he'll be able to record They ain't going to give him a laptop And have him yeah, scream just, all that bullshit And that Nigga's supposed yeah. to be hiding yeah, <laughs> just, like, just know they when hear you. Yeah. When you pay, yeah, you're loud. Uh, yeah, just they know when you paid your taxes. It, it could have went to his tattoo removal. Th- actually, that's just how power started. <laughs> yeah, that is exactly how power started. Making too much noise when you're supposed to be hiding out and witness protection. Yeah, Shh. shout that shit right up. Yeah. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> um, I want to be in that power writing room so bad. Just, yeah, me too. Just, just to, to see just what to listen. The, <laughs> hear the b- ideas that are being bounced off the wall. Yeah, if, the, oh if this God. is what they settled on, what were the bad ideas? Damn. I finally caught up the power. I finally watched. Then let's just get into it. No, not we're, much not, fin- to talk we're about. not finished. We're talking about Takashi. I'm trying to give us our 2020 special in the front of the podcast before we're silly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't think I don't think he he will ever be able to reach that that level he was at before he uh before all of this happened. I don't see it. But then again, this era is so different, man. I've seen crazier shit happen. Actually, no, I haven't seen crazy shit. I've seen crazy shit happen. This would my, this would be probably top of the list if he was to come out and be able to come back to the same level he was at. That would be the craziest shit ever. Well, if that e- even is legally allowed, his fan base for the most part doesn't give a fuck. It's a bunch of little white kids I agree in with America. That. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't know if they're going to think they're going to think he's even great. Like, damn, he beat it. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but what if what if he came out with like a, a smash anthem about snitching on niggas? <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, but that would be kind of hard. It would not surprise me, man. This shit is crazy. I'm going to tell it all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tell it all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, so she's like, oh. <laughs> 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 Nigga said, oh, okay. Yeah. I see where you was going. Hey, he created a story. I see where you was going. <laughs> Uh, y'all don't think that maybe he could repurpose and rebrand himself to not even be that same kid or put out that type of music or appeal to whatever audience that was? Like gospel yes. rap? Maybe. Reformed, I'm this maybe. guy. Maybe. Reformed rap? Yeah. yeah, you saved me. <laughs> Takashi is not stupid, so I actually might roll with that point right there. He could do some reformed. Yeah. He knows how the internet works. He knows that. Hey, just last week I said the great to find a way to be great. If you yeah. come out here and just turn into fucking Kirk Franklin or some shit. Yeah. I don't yeah, see it, but it wouldn't life. Me. You know Takashi could say, I love my people's head. <laughs> <laughs> the funny shit about that is I, I know exactly what you just said. <laughs> you know he could but do it that. But it didn't sound like you said anything. I love my brother's head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Maul has given us his Takashi synopsis, which I hate. I hate when Maul gets 30 minutes to open the podcast. <laughs> Parks and Rory, you guys, what do, what do you guys think? 
I thought I gave mine. If the government, I don't think the government's going to allow him to do anything. I think he's going to have to go in a wit second and stay there. Uh, but I'm I'm kind of with you on if he is able to do that, he'll be on his reformed. Yo, this this isn't the right life. I'm trying to look out for the kids now. Like he's gonna get on that shit. It'll be interesting the rebrand, yeah. if yeah. there is a rebrand. Yeah, but I, I can't see the government letting him put out music or do anything. Yeah, <laughs> that has to do with you yep. being in the limelight. I think that kid is genius enough to come up with some type <laughs> of Where's Waldo way to make <laughs> money from the fact that you can't find him anywhere. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, Doom has been doing this whole career. <laughs> That's why they have 50 pop. That's why we was all watching him. They trying to take his head off. <laughs> he was yeah, in the Poconos. 50 was outside, though. That's why we was watching. <laughs> That's our point. Yeah, but Takashi can't come back outside. <laughs> that nigga 50 was pulling up. I'm like, ooh, <laughs> oh, let's see them try him here. <laughs> this summer jam will be lit. <laughs> I was working it hot. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, 50... <laughs> 50 a legend, man. This is one of the moments where y'all don't want to laugh. I understand. No, I get it. Y'all, but y'all know what I'm saying. 50's a legend, for sure. 100, 100%. 100%. I, we we <laughs> will never see nothing music. like that again. Yeah, no, yeah. We will yeah. never see anything like 50 Cent again. Yeah. Which is why, yeah, whatever. We'll have 50 appreciation in another episode after we finish Killing Power. <laughs> Watch power goes off. Listen, as much as I'm in his strip club, he better not say nothing to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving back. <laughs> Funny. I'm, you supporting? I'm, what? <laughs> huh? By way of, but yeah. I mean, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's the game. Uh, did Parks tell us what he thought? I said that uh, his rebrand. All right, we'll whatever. see. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. That's da, 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 that's our mark my word segment. <laughs> I'm gonna find some segments in this fucking pocket. All right, what, you, what do y'all want to talk about next? Let's keep it hip hop. Let's talk about uh. This, the melee at the battle rap function. <laughs> the malice you in the tried. palace. You tried. The rumble in the jungle. <laughs> it wasn't a jungle. Shooting the dukes with mook. <laughs> <laughs> you still got it, buddy. Hey, uh, Shooting the EP dukes. coming soon. No, no, keep the EP uh, <laughs> Yo, this is <laughs> not quantifiable. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is one of those times where you support your friend to the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, like, yeah, off yeah, mic. Yeah, like, nah. Y'all right? like shooting the dukes. Dukes no, with Mook. No, I don't like no. shooting the Dukes with Mook. All right, you guys. You guys are laughing at an inside joke. Someone tell the audience what's going on. Come on, you are all more. Give it you, to us. Uh, well, Murder Mook and uh, Briz Rolstein got into it. Can we call him Murder now? Shit was alive. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Niggas still alive. Just call, let's call him Mook. Yeah. yeah Mook, 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 Mook yeah. got into a little fisticuffs. A little. At, at, at the battle. What's the uh, word for, for, for cuff? For, for fuck? For, for, for tuffle? For fuffle? Sure. Isn't there another word that describes fight? I don't know. I'm not a white boy. <laughs> you know I mean? That sounds like a white boy word. I don't. It is. Yeah. Ker- kerfuffle. I'm gonna think of the word. It was a tiff. No, nah, it wasn't a tiff. <laughs> That's a little more. Got to shake. Any, anytime, twelve and fifteen yeah, niggas start nah, rumbling. Nah, niggas got to shake. A rather ain't no large tiff. tiff. Any, yeah, anytime the the four hundred pound dude gets tossed to the floor from the stage, yeah. it's not a tiff. Yeah, it was. And then he jumped back up. I was like, whoa. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He was agile. agile. <laughs> hey, when a fight breaks out, <laughs> you gotta just watch. Yeah, you learn things about the niggas. Big like, nigga. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> off the off the vert. <laughs> Like, oh shit, he got that off the vert back on the stage. <laughs> yeah, you learn shit about niggas in the rumble. Like, oh, I didn't know you had that in you, kid. All right. Yo, all right, so this was an RBE event, I think. Where was this taking place at? This was uh, this was somewhere in New York. I don't know where it was. It was at. not in New York. See how niggas lie? Savon, look it up. Where was it at? This was in New York, right? This, this could not have been in New York. Yeah. Okay, we are back. Savon looked it up and still has no idea where it is. Also, he runs a podcast called Need to Know. <laughs> and I think we, that, I and think we that, needed to know. Yeah, I think that's hilarious. I'm still needing to know right this second. All right, so we don't know where that happened at, but yeah. RBE event, big brawl. Uh, it was a two-on-two battle. This was Mook and Calico versus Briz and whoever. It doesn't really matter at this point. T-top? Briz and T-top, I think. Yeah. Oh, man. And I hear they was losing anyway. <laughs> that's usually when the fight happens. So... Where do y'all stand on this? Everybody was killing Mook for swinging, putting a black eye on bo- on uh, battle rap yet again, ruining it for future battlers and the bag that they could potentially receive. Come on, man. How do y'all feel? Nah, I I, I got I got a side with Mook on this one, only because Mook is such a veteran. He's never he's never been involved in anything like this in a melee. Yeah, like <laughs> this is this is this is not of his character. So. Uh, 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 from what I'm hearing, you know, the dude says something about Mook's mom, who rest in peace, she passed away this year. So that can kind of hit a sensitive button. And then the clip that no, we no, see, no, he grabbed, no, no, but not just that. But then in the clip, you know, I'm hearing that 
when Mook and uh, Calico was rapping, you know, Briz was kind of like walking through them, walking around them and all of that. I heard he was doing a little, he was being a little extra. And then in this clip, you see he grabs Mook's arm for whatever reason. He just grabbed, like he was, walked yeah. up on Mook, bumped him, grabbed his arm. And that's and that's the reason that I do I do agree with Mook. Mook. Yeah, I can't, I, I gotta go yeah. with Mook because this is not Mook's character. He's not this type of person, especially not in the, the battle rap ring. He's not that type of person. I'm, I'm rolling with Moak, man. If you can't grab my arms as I'm rapping uh, the verse that I spent two months just trying to make you feel a way about as I spit it in your face. Don't stop me while I'm <laughs> while I'm doing that. Right. <laughs> and he grabbed the arm. What the fuck do you think is supposed to happen? Walked up, bumped, yeah, didn't grab the arm. Don't like, yeah, don't on. don't bump me. Now listen, uh, I know that in a lot of these battles, we've seen this. Like we've seen uh, the battlers like get physical with one another. Uh, niggas uh, have the tap your pocket move from Shug's. Shug dunks on niggas. Fucking Arsenal is disrespectful. Mm-hmm. He'll touch you. Mav touches you. Most of these niggas do be a little t- too touchy feely. Mm-hmm. Uh, but on but the that flip, was a grab. But, but on the flip side of that, most of these niggas is friends as well. Mm-hmm. See, I never pay too much attention to a to a battle that gets too touchy touchy because I I automatically assume that y'all have had that conversation before y'all took the stage. Mm-hmm. You are you you are you still have a job to entertain at the end of the day. And if y'all want to get together and have a conversation to where it's, hey, I'm going to do this, uh, you do that, don't wild out, don't hit me, tell your crew. If y'all want to have a peaceful talk before the battle, I'm all I'm all for that. Mm-hmm. So I normally assume that it's orchestrated. Yeah. But when, I, uh, uh, but, but Joe, again, I, you know, and I understand battle rap is, you know, is anything goes. But you got to understand that I, I would like to think that these dudes are skilled enough to where if you know my mom just passed away recently. Like and we're now no, in battle rap. Do, I, yeah, but you. I was gonna, yeah, 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 but you can't. Standard in battle rap. Cool, now. you can. You could. Cool. If you want to put my mom in your battle rap and you know she just passed away, that's on you. But you have to know that from that point on, I'm in a different mental zone. Don't bump me. Don't touch me. Don't try to get too close to me because I'm already feeling some type of way about you. I may not pop on you for saying the line, but from that point on. Don't get in my space bumping me, getting in my... Don't do that because I'm already on edge with you anyway. So this is why I have to side with Mook because if he would have popped on a dude for saying the line, then it's like, come on, Mook. You know why I don't respect you saying that? Why? Because when 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 we bring up Drake versus Push mm-hmm. and we all start talking about what we deem as that knockout punch that... Uh, that uh, Push sent when he was talking about uh, 40s sickness and ailments mm-hmm. and Drake said, you know what? Battle over. Mm -hmm. Fight is over because you're taking it somewhere where my next move is going to have to be that. It's the same thing as what you just said, but you don't respect it in that uh, area. So why do you respect it No, that's that's different because I think think from what Drake was about to take in and things he was about to start saying, I think is why he pulled back and said- Saying or doing, we don't know. Saying or doing, I think he felt like, I don't want to go there. Like so, it's different. Like I'm talking about actually becoming physical in a battle rap. Like if Mook would have popped on him for saying the line, it's like damn, Mook. Like you know what I'm saying? He, it was just a bar. You got to know that it's it's all about insults and 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 what's going like deliver the hardest blow. Now if I'm stopping because I know I'm about to say some things and reveal some things to the world where it's going to take this entire situation somewhere else, and I decide to say, you know what, I'm I'm, I'm out. I don't want to do this. Then that's different. That's a totally different scenario. I'm I, I understand that yo. I'm about to say some things that when this is all said and done, I'm gonna look at back and be like, damn, I shouldn't have took it there. Because sometimes it's artists you feel like that. Hold up for a second, more Rory and Parks. I just told y'all like, this wasn't Queens. Mall talks for thirty minutes. And now talk <laughs> for another forty minutes. <laughs> oh, I shut the fuck up. But these niggas won't talk. So I mean, it's me and you. Oh yeah, so we here, yeah, man. Let's kick it. Anyway. I wasn't gonna interrupt the man. This is our coach anyway. Let's keep the white boys yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> True. Did, did y'all see the fight? Uh, yeah, well, it's yeah, funny. yeah, yeah. I watched it when Mo put it in in the chat and said that's wild. Did y'all care at all? Of course I care. I'm surprised uh, it doesn't happen battle. more often. What do you say? Honestly, I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often. Well, well I just just because yeah. I know there's a contract and money on the line, they care more about money than than fighting in in Ma, a lot of capacities. I've but. heard these battle rap. I'm sorry, I've heard these battle rappers say horrible shit, man. Yeah, really it's bad. part of it. Now, it's- now I would not be able to deal with somebody saying something about my. Mother who recently passed in front of my face. I, that's me. No. Right, mm. right. Battle over. But which is why I have to respect Moot because he didn't pop after that line. He didn't swing on homie after that line. This was like after, way after this, and now it's like okay, you in my face, you bumping me, now you grabbing me. Like, ah, right, you doing too much now. Now, now the battle's over. 
And that's why I got a side move because this he has never been in anything like this, and he's one of the, you know, the 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 fucking legends of this shit. Like he's never been involved in a fight in a battle. Briz is from where? Do, do we know? I'm not sure. This happened in Queens. Yeah. Oh, see, there you I, go. Would, I would love to know the 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 aftermath of this. I would love to know who was stuck hiding in the building. <laughs> <laughs> Did the the event continue after this or not? I don't think so. I think it was okay. over. I think this was the this the, was the, the main event headline, oh, too, right? Okay. Yeah, this was the the last battle of the night, I believe. And um, I seen uh, even Calico Wait, Pops caught a nigga on the way. Out. Yes, Calico Pops tagged a nigga on the way out. Thought that was dope. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I mean, your pops got a pop on a nigga on the way out. I love that Calico's pops goes to so many battles. Yeah, I like that shit. Well, niggas talk so much shit about him while he was locked up. I was about to say, he's up. the topic of conversation. Yeah, it's like shit. He might as well go to the battles now. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, I, li- I like that. Yeah. Don't 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 fight. Don't fight me while my dad is here. <laughs> <laughs> but I like what Calico did, though. He held Mook down. He started popping, too, to. nigga. Like, yeah. Fuck that. Did any of you guys learn anything did, uh, from, this, from this melee? Was anything revealed to you gentlemen? Do you guys have a hot take to share before I go out on the ledge by myself? Uh, speaking of Calico, that's what I learned. That's what I learned in all of this. I learned that when you see a big guy fall and get out the way, see them knock over I the whole crowd. Big ago. dudes, when they're in between you and the person you're trying to pop on, it gets messy. I got to applaud Briz because he looked like, like he can't fight at all. And <laughs> he grabbed somebody. Oh, he got out of there. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Off, off, right after the initial grab, he was out of the fight now. And that's what I learned. Yo, with the exception of Calico and maybe two other of y'all niggas that was on the stage, none of y'all can fight. <laughs> <laughs> it was like an NBA fight? Worse. <laughs> like, this is disgusting. And you know what? All right. You got to remember, Joe. A lot I got to remember these uh, niggas can't fight a lick. No, not that. But a lot of oh. these niggas really know each other. They be around each other. Oh, okay. So this is like one of the homie yeah. scumbags yeah, that we were like, talking it's about. It's like, damn, it's popping. Like, damn, I know you, money. And, I can't and you really, got to add in we tw- was just 20 out. people together. And yeah, trying it's, to get it's, to- it's different. These are not complete strangers. I, I, I want the person that knows me even more so to know that my hands function well. <laughs> you know, I feel you because but, we may never fight again, right? Because we know each other, so you have to. But know you can, what you it can is. tell, and even in this, a lot of dudes are just trying to like push each other back, hold each. Like yeah. dudes didn't really want to fight. Listen, because these dudes, if, they if know I see other. 20 niggas start getting it shaken, I want to see a, a drop of blood, <laughs> a knockout, at least one person unconscious with mad friends stopping the fight. Yo, not nah, <laughs> yo, it's over now, yo. Nah, it's over, yo. You're on the ground now. Like, if I don't see none of that, look, the Rex just walked off the stage. These <laughs> niggas went back to tween. I don't respect it. I don't want to hear another hardcore fight bar from a lot of these battle rappers. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fair. Briz better never say another line about being dangerous. <laughs> I mean, listen, man. I mean, nothing. It, it's just, I, I, sometimes this is healthy for the culture, though. Sometimes. Fam, he let Mook get some shit off that I only seen in karate classes. <laughs> like, in the streets, normally when the person that initiates the grab has an advantage. Yes. He's supposed to let Moak double reverse out of the grab, yeah, grab both in then the- get his hand free to <laughs> knock you. Like, how does that even happen without knowing karate? Yo, who did Arsenal get into it with? Was it Rex? Or, it was Rex, right? I don't know. Oh, you, when it was you, uh, you, you teaching me something. It they was got into it with somebody. I don't think it was Moot. Was it Moot? Arsenal has gotten into it with probably a bunch of people. So I mean, I don't know. You I mean think some physical? I think, yeah, I think. No, he no. didn't fight Hollow the Dawn. Shut up. It was Rex. It was, Ars- Ars- Arsenal and, and Rex battled. Some shit happened. They had to clear the whole stage. I don't think anyone really fought, though. Okay, so that's That what shit was, was in Newark. Yeah, that's what it was. I remember. That was a good battle, too. That was Rex and Arsenal. Okay. All right, man. Well, well that, sometimes, listen, man, happened. things get a little... Oh, no, this is healthy. It's healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. healthy. I mean, it's yeah. fucked up to, to the nigga that threw the event. Yeah, the nigga <laughs> that word. paid to see it, yeah. But, yeah or the nigga that paid Mook, Mook and all these, because Mook ain't cheap. Yeah, yeah. that's true. But something is in their contracts when this type of shit happens, though, right? Yeah, you're not getting your second half. I would okay. hope. They already got the second half, no? Yeah, if not. they showed up, I would think so. No, you get the second half when you get off stage. I don't know how they're doing their in, business, in, but... In what business is that? A lot. Y'all changed the rules. We need an artist meeting. Is that what's <laughs> happening at Duce? <laughs> hey, nigga, the second I get to this venue, before that, before that mic is turned on... That second half is in my hand. Who would perform without that, Rory? That's different than these type of contracts. You talk about the 
Just the brown bag. Like when Fab came, I gave Fab his money before he got on stage. That happened. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But yeah, in those instances, I think with these contracts, no. Oh, you got to complete the job. Huh. <laughs> that, that How dare they? That ain't black privilege. <laughs> well, no, I, can see them, I can see that that happening. Like if they get paid once they get to the venue and before they get on, whatever happens once I'm on the stage is like fam it I'm might not be completely with my fault yeah I'm that, not giving it might not be back. completely my fault that's how I lost my hollow battle I got paid already <laughs> <laughs> yo y'all keep on booing I swear yeah. <laughs> I swear <laughs> I'm getting out of here uh, I, I watched I've never that. even had a third round yo, I, I watched just that that. and I keep saying <laughs> I had a good eight for these niggas yo I watched that shit like two months ago man <laughs> I just couldn't stop laughing. I'm like, well, why was Joe up there? Corey. <laughs> you was holding the mic nasty. I'm like, oh, look at this thing. He was thing holding the mic nasty. Yeah, but uh, again, one day, one day I'll give a PowerPoint presentation. Like you on, shouldn't be holding the mic on, when you're battling on, anyways. On, yeah, that shouldn't have been happening at all. I that's can't true. believe you but, lost to that nigga, man. Because you don't, you think he's not nice. We're not doing that. That's, that's the man episode. Again. Believe but one day I'm going to give a PowerPoint presentation on just why you should not do things out of desperation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's an important. That that's that's important. Life. We all know that. That's in the top fifty life lessons. More, I mean, but I don't know. I don't, I don't think we. All but don't know do that, Joe, because I don't think that was out of desperation. I think you really had the opportunity to really. I'm not. I'm not do something like really special. Like you did. You was in. A, that was a moment. It was synergistic. It was a well, it was a well yeah. put together yeah. Yeah. Well, well, first of all, I'm not saying that that's the position I was in. Okay. That's one. Two. I'm talking in general. Two. I think. I think that. No, I think that some of the things that led up to me being in that position. Maybe had some desperation in there. Okay, okay. Not, not the opportunity okay. itself, because I was hype about it. Yeah, yeah, like I wanted to do that. It was a really, really, was, really dope. I event. thought that could have potentially been some game changing yeah. shit, and it kind of did. But man, Cassidy came. All these niggas popped yeah. up out the blue afterwards. Yeah. But um, yeah, I don't think everybody knows that that lesson that you just said. Um, yeah, how you just shouldn't do uh, things people, to desperation. Because how do you learn it without learning it? Uh, well, you, that goes for a lot of things in life. You don't really yeah. learn unless it's off experience. Yeah. And then, you know, a lot of people don't know, are not real with themselves and don't know when they're being desperate or when they're in a desperate position. Yeah, self-awareness is is You have to know when you're doing something out of desperation. When you're making these type of decisions. You don't think you're desperate, but you're desperate. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's tough when you are desperate to turn down shit sometimes. You know what I'm saying? It it's not, well, that's it's the not toughest easy. thing. And that's what shows your Rents character. Rents do. <laughs> that's, that's the toughest thing. Yeah. And that's what happened a few months before that battle. And I'll save that for the doc. But I went to court and said, yeah, I don't want to do this. Yeah. Like, I don't want to put it out. That mm-hmm. shit definitely sidetracked all love lost. Yeah. And that's what made some love loss happen. So there was some positive that came out of it. Yeah, 100%. And yeah. Corey ran down a long list of bills that uh, <laughs> were coming in that the funds probably wasn't all the way ready to receive. Yeah. It's like I said, yo, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I come through. <laughs> so what rhymes with hollow? <laughs> I'm telling you, bills, bills are making niggas do shit. Like, what exactly is due next month? Yo. <laughs> yeah, for, for, for real. <laughs> niggas start trying to come up with a hit. I need a girl to, oh, damn. That's out of right. Somebody call Loon. <laughs> yeah, for real. Where the fuck is Loon? Loon, I think he's still out of the country. No, we know that part. Yeah, I think he he laying low, man. Loon ain't Loon, Loon ain't coming back to the US no time soon, I don't believe. No, he's not. Um, all right, so man, somebody, hey battle rap, y'all start a GoFundMe and, and buy Briz some hands. Cause <laughs> god damn it's fun watching a nigga that can't fight start the fight. <laughs> that was horrible. Hey, an amazing rapper. Amazing rap. See, look, bop boop, boop, doop, do 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 out. <laughs> Yeah, he let he let Mook and Calico get about seventy hits off before his skinny ass was even able to retreat. Yeah, and then homie with the Louis book bag yeah, tried to get it yeah. shaken. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, all right. What else? What else would you gentlemen like to discuss? Uh, what's happening? Uh, let's get right into Sway Lee, and this is the podcast where everything I didn't want to happen just keeps happening. We all opened up with forty minutes of talking. Now Rory's gonna read. <laughs> <laughs> Killing it today. You've been pra- I've been, well, he's been no, practicing. For, first of all, the production. <laughs> first of all, I've been following this story for my, two years. This is of my your life story, really. I've been yeah. invested into this relationship, and you guys yeah. keep ignoring all the valleys and peaks of yeah. Sway Lee and his girlfriend. They want to just jump on now that it gets hot. That he sometimes allegedly cheats on, but yeah. seems like Alleged. a legend. Alleged. Okay. Well, you got time to cheat. Them fucking songs take about three minutes to make. (laughs) He ain't spending nights in the studio. (sighs) 
Don't be too late. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was early. <laughs> she showed up. 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 He wanted it to be late that day. <laughs> Sway Lee's girlfriend was reportedly arrested for striking and headbutting the rapper. TMZ reports uh, Miss Ortiz, when I say her full name, was arguing with him in a Los Angeles home and called the police after attacking him and claiming she was sexually assaulted. Oh, when, yikes. When the cops arrived, Ortiz switched the story up and admitted she came to his crib wreaking havoc. She began breaking things oh. and hitting him. <laughs> she claimed she All was... All of this sounds familiar. Deja vu. Yeah. She <laughs> claimed she was strangled, but there was no visible in- injuries uh, on either one of them. Can I interrupt for a second? As men, we have to bond together and find, like... A reputable defense from women attacking us and then calling the police. <laughs> it's tough. There's no way to defend that There's move. No way. That's like and the, it's the chippy and street. It's a mad regular move too. Yeah. Because niggas hope. are not thinking that. All right, she attacked me. All right, relax. You just gotta hope now the, the cops poli- are there. <laughs> yeah, we're, you just gotta hope the police suss it out before they get there and ask her a couple important questions. Shit, that yeah. matters none. I've been locked up from the cops and in the car and they say, "Yo, I feel you." I, ain't, I don't really think that shit went the way it's she said. There's always one way to fix it, bro. Just walk away. Well, judging by how she's handled every single situation between the two of them in the last two years, <laughs> I'm not going to say she's the smartest girl. Don't be late to walking away. Yeah. Be early to walking away. <laughs> but I'd like to know, I'd like to meet these detectives on how quickly they flipped her from saying, he sexually assaulted me. To then, all right, I beat the shit out of him. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah these niggas. Know who, was the was lead, who was the lead detective uh, on that yeah, one? I ain't seen that type of work since Matlock. He needs a raise. <laughs> that was Perry Mason like. <laughs> <laughs> he needs a raise for sure. Well, then Sway Lee did some damage control and tweeted, "They'll make up anything for a story." I'm truly baffled. Oh, yeah, that's right. But, but I, I thought he'd, he would get on top of this and be like, "Finally, guys, I've only been being abused for two years, and you guys keep saying I'm a cheater." No. <laughs> oh, I thought he would finally get on his platform and apologize to me. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the first thing. <laughs> yeah, clear, clearly she didn't like that bullshit song either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crazy. Shit. Don't hey, be late. He ain't even out working it. He home beefing. Yeah. Come on, man. Hey, you owe me an apology. Nah, for this, me. this is the rollout. <laughs> yeah. The headbutt rollout. Yeah, you had to double up on it. You know, we sit here laughing and joking. And this is the problem with men who are abused by women. That's true. This is, ex- this is exactly the yes. problem. There's no hotline this is for why us. They don't we just laugh. Live their truth. Yeah. <laughs> Got to joke about it. <laughs> you don't have to. Yeah, all. you don't have to. <laughs> no, we could be. No, we Sway Lee, we feel bad no, for you, man. We could be yeah. happy there was justice here, and she called the cops, and she got arrested instead. Yeah. There's justice here, Roy. What <laughs> <laughs> the white dude in the room? <laughs> Bring her to justice. Yes. <laughs> Get this animal off the streets. <laughs> Before she headbutts another person. <laughs> another innocent man. Yes. You know how mad you got to be to headbutt somebody? Fam. That's, that's a different that takes, that's a different that level takes of accuracy like, like No, that just takes in a fit you, of rage you right can't just cuz that hurts. It does hurt. The headbutt is is an effective move. Yeah. But it hurts. But it's usually like well. a last ditch yeah, resort. Yeah, it's like what? I've never nah, felt like I'm about to headbutt this not, nigga not, right not, here. Not, <laughs> no, it's cuz niggas have sense. Even <laughs> even in even in our times of wild out there's right. logic involved. There is. Yeah, like nobody in that MOOC battle uh, thought about headbutting nobody. Well, Man. they didn't think about punching <laughs> either. <laughs> you want to go straight to headbutt? I'm, yeah, I'm, not, I'm, still, I'm still not off of that fight lesson. Yeah. They would have got killed in Fight Club. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was we talking about about Swaley? Swaley, I apologize, man. These are just jokes. I have a podcast, so I have to get these jokes off. But I do feel really bad. As somebody who has experienced that type of abuse from the opposite sex uh, Same. that you were in a relationship with, probably that you were taking care of. Same. <laughs> probably that you <laughs> thought you had her best interest involved and she just started wilding on you. I feel you. Yeah, I feel him. I, I I've feel been you. there. We've, we've all been there, Swaley. Yeah. And it's, yep. it's, she was at his house too, right? Because that's yes. I've had that happen where friend. it's like, oh fuck, she's in my house beating me up. What the fuck do I do? Leave. Because you can't walk out. You can't walk. Out. I mean, you can, but she's about to trash your old shit. Just ruin it. Call the police. Yeah. You're walking out. That here doesn't work. <laughs> if you call the cops, yeah, it doesn't work. My girlfriend's in my apartment trashing shit. You be like, yeah, Come you on, should yeah, do something you about have that. Have to get a girlfriend before you can say yeah. that's going to work. Cool. You, because you don't know. I don't think I, I let me just say this. I can tell by your home entertainment system you've never had a woman just break everything cuz it's too accessible. Yeah. Well, cuz your shit is nice. Yeah. No, but you know Word. what it is? I don't uh, Like see, when you're in relationships you keep like your really close belongings in like separate rooms to trick her and like get her confused. <laughs> you don't ever put your laptop in the same place cuz she yeah. smashed it before. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Keep it up high. I can tell by your 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 <laughs> keep it up. High. 
<laughs> She's not gonna find the step ladder. <laughs> Keep it up high. That is true. Yeah, it's a fact, bro. Yeah, but I think I don't know, man. You, Maul got so about- Maul, I don't want to hear nothing from you. You got mood lighting in your crib, dimmers and shit. <laughs> an angry chick could go through your she crib and oh have a god. blast. That would, like, that would be like a you, McDonald's playground. For oh her. my god! And then your your crib with the regular sixty watt yellow soft light. Yeah. Not the same vibe. <laughs> not to say your little red light district you got going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But see, you have to set that vibe to bitch, calm, bitch, calm her down. Bitch, Not the red light. Yeah, bitch, right. <laughs> the red light's getting right. Hey, but she'll learn more. Hey, that little nice, sexy weed trade that's in all the pictures. Oh, nah. When the shit is a what? weapon. <laughs> when she's cracking that shit over your fucking skull. Yeah. You'll never roll a cone the same. Yeah, Word. Right. I never thought about it like I'm, that. I'm telling you, it's dangerous. Just leave the weed alone. You, you can break everything else. Don't, don't touch no, the weed. No, the weed's else. everywhere. Yeah, no, don't touch the weed. Well, make a better song. And then your fucking girl will be in better spirits and won't want to headbutt you for that don't be late <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that he said he's truly baffled let me know that she did headbutt him. Because you'd only baffled after you somebody headbutt you. That. Like, yo, I don't un- understand how I got hit with a headbutt. I don't understand what niggas don't be understanding. You've been fucking 70 girls a night yeah. <laughs> for the past nine years. <laughs> <laughs> what don't you get about her yeah. anger? How are you baffled? <laughs> Damn. Yeah. And there's no reason I should know. Like, you don't even try to tell your bitches to chill. Mm. <laughs> Rory knows. <laughs> like, Man, why do we know in the story? I should not know. What's happening? Or oh, or Sway's having an ill kickback tonight. I shouldn't know that. <laughs> no, nah, you should. You're the fucking kickback king. <laughs> I True. was invited. <laughs> you was invited? I was not invited. Oh, I, I was going to judge you if you were invited to the Sway <laughs> no, kickback. No, I was, I was not invited. Were you invited to Berg's happy birthday dinner? No, with, I, I kind of felt away. Meek and Fab and... That he... Didn't invite like real gang. friends. Mm. Oh, was it here? Was it in New York? And right in New York. Mm. That's crazy. He just everyone was on the song. Damn. Oh. Y'all, hey, y'all ain't even know. <laughs> <laughs> you went? No, I ain't going to no shit oh. like that. Did he invite you? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. Probably this morning. After it. After <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why you ain't come? I wouldn't have came, but you didn't tell me. Whatever. <laughs> um, all right. What else, we're, what else are we talking about here? Enough Sway Lee jokes. Sway Lee needs our support right now. That's true. He needs our support. If you want to talk about it, Sway, we're here. We're here for you to open the dialogue. Yeah, let's do it. That's all we yes. were trying to do. Maybe call in. He's not calling. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. Uh, You're well, a phone call. I know we had a, uh, a plan, but I did want to just quickly ask you guys. If you saw Alexis Sky protesting her getting robbed, uh, I, d- I did not. <laughs> I didn't. Know, I didn't know you could protest. She was something picketing. Like that. She went back to the spot to, to protest to the sign. <laughs> yes, the crime scene. Wait, what? I was really hoping that none of y'all came in here and mentioned this at all. <laughs> I saw it this morning, and I had one of those moments where, like, come on, Joe, man, you're a piece Save of Savon, shit. Talk about it. that's Long Island's finest right there. Who Alexis Sky? <laughs> did she do the So Long Island challenge? Nah, she's from here. She's from Long Island City. You guys are telling a bunch of jokes again without telling what happened. Uh, Well, Alexis Sky, I guess, was, and her friend (laughs) describe a horrific moment uh, when a $100,000 Maserati was stolen at QT. Uh, Sky resides in Atlanta, shared an emotional plea. All right, we don't care about that. She got robbed by gunpoint, I think, at a gas station. Uh, Then she went back to the gas station to have a protest about being robbed. And I think it's horrible she was robbed at gunpoint. But I am going to find it pretty funny that you're doing a protest for being robbed. <laughs> what is she protesting? I don't know. Robberies? <laughs> Robberies? Gas station yeah. brutality. <laughs> this is different. <laughs> this, is, this is very different. <laughs> gas station brutality. Yo, I don't get it. It's a, a serious thing, thing out there, thing. man. Yeah. Gas stations is a spot. Okay, what time did this happen? <laughs> All right, now y'all doing that's, a deep dive. That's gonna tell me everything I need to know. <laughs> no, it happened Detective like one a.m., one a.m., one twenty a.m. Then they went back in the morning, I think, with like a crew and some cameras, and said, "This is where it occurred. <laughs> the skid mark is right there." That's no, from, they didn't. They didn't. They did. Yes. And the then skid they, mark is and then right they there. They pointed to the skid mark and said, like, "That's where they slid after that." And more, I'm, I didn't call it a protest. It was labeled as such. You said it happened in Queens. No, no. In, in Atlanta. Oh, she's from no. Queens. Yeah. Oh, okay. And and they were they I had think, a, oh, and they had Long a chant. Island, they had a chant going too. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry? not making this up. <laughs> Who was chanting? Well, what are you chanting? <laughs> all, all gas all matters. Is... <laughs> Rory. Diesel premium. <laughs> this is regular. Ass. We just wanted gas. <laughs> this is gas. We just wanted gas. <laughs> Yo, man, this. <laughs> I, we should not be having fun with this. <laughs> 
How this far? How far can they flee? The tank was on E. <laughs> how far can they flee? The tank was on E. Because that's important. Did they fill up the car and then they got robbed? Because that's gangster. The first, if you yeah, somebody to yo, fill up the tank. The first thing I do when the cops put the sirens behind me, just out of instinct. Is to look at the gas tank. Yeah. <laughs> How far could I yeah. go? That's it. Ooh, if I, why I oughta, you coppers. If I wasn't pussy, I would dash yeah. down this turnpike. Word. I would burn rubber. I'd make it a Delaware in no time. <laughs> this is compelling footage. Compelling. <laughs> Wait, stop it, because I want to hear the jam. Gas station protest. <laughs> hey. Hey. No justice, no, no gas. gas. <laughs> no gas. Hey. No gas. No gas. Hey. There's so much crazy no Wait a minute. going on right now. No gas. But why did, what did Quick Trip have to do with this? I was a Quick Trip. Homie and Quick Trip probably like. I don't fam. give a fuck. I'm not getting no gas. They came in here and robbed me too. Nah. Yeah, what you doing? What you, what you want from me? Yeah. Yeah. Listen. I don't give a fuck. No justice, no gas. That's right. You're not getting gas from this. No, no. That's right. What? I had to ride around on E. Now you riding around on E. You <laughs> no want gas, you got to go through gas. me. <laughs> huh? Listen, I, whatever. Listen, uh, again, I'm making jokes, but I'm really glad that uh, Alexis Sky is all right. I'm really glad that nobody was uh, <laughs> seriously injured. Uh, I do hope that all is well at the end of that. And that's, I didn't want to come in here and talk about that. Roy, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> but this morning. Fame. That is your co-star. No, she's not. Oh, she's not we were sure. going to let no, no justice, no, no gasket. <laughs> we needed the Get through the, yeah, the cracks. Down. I needed that. I didn't I know nothing about too. this. Because yeah. I'm not fucking with gas either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck gas. Yeah, yeah, fuck Who wrote shit. the chant, though? Alexis. <laughs> it was, it was, she, yeah, she was signed to uh, Treyway. That's it. She's an artist. She got a hit right there. Let's see what happens when the execs get sentenced. <laughs> <laughs> We, one day we got to revisit that episode. Though. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's one of the greatest. You ain't seen when Shotty in got into the CEO bag. Yes, I did. Shotty got into it. No, no, you ain't seen when you almost WeWork. shot her. <laughs> I don't know what episode you was watching. She kept trying. No, I don't want to see Fetty. No, you about to see Fetty. <laughs> no, I mean right it's now. just not right right now. Oh, no, nah. Fetty's here. No, he's walking <laughs> in. He's right it's behind. It's a glass office. Yeah. Look through the glass. Yeah, yeah, but I mean it just didn't go right. The child support. <laughs> Listen, right, well, he's he's gonna sit right here. Yeah. <laughs> and you're gonna say Treyway. <laughs> Treyway. <laughs> and again, I'm glad that Lester Sky's alright. Come on, what are we too. Move, yeah. move, and I'm me too. You brought this up. <laughs> I'm happy she's up there. You are so toxic. <laughs> Rory definitely gets no gas. Justice. Rory's toxic. No gas. Yeah. Yo, Chance man. pushed his, his tour back. Gas problem too? Yeah. Probably. Well, he couldn't, he couldn't get gas in Atlanta. That makes sense. Chance can get gas wherever he wants. <laughs> Trust you me. Chance is probably supplying America's gas stations with gas. <laughs> but eco friendly gas. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that saves the zebra the, the oh, penguins, yeah. oh, the penguins zebra fish gas. Me yeah. off. That sounds sounds about right. Like zebra him. fish gas. Uh all right, he pushed his <laughs> shit back. He pushed his tour back. And you know what? I read this and it was alarming and, it, and he wrote this whole long paragraph and he said, Yo, I missed out on spending time with my family. I'm not gonna do do that again. I owe it to my wife. And I was like, damn, what a courageous stance that chance is taking because I'm sure all all artists feel like that. Like we miss yeah. we miss some of the milestone moments in our in our family's lives. And then he was like, Yeah, so I'm pushing this shit back to April. I'm like to April. Mm-hmm. It's next month. <laughs> it's not next month. It's not next month. It is next month. No, it's, it's, not. it's next year. Yo, you're not telling me that you're not touring because you don't because you want to spend time with your family and then you're back in April. That's, yeah. that's seven months now. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right in time yeah, for yeah. festival season. That's smart. Nigga, nigga you said January. Oh. You said January. Oh, I mean, that's what I meant. See, not April. January. Oh, no, you right. said January. Okay. That's definitely yeah. well. Next January month. is next month. That's yeah. what I'm saying. He don't April love his family for real. Come on, Chance. No, he wants to stay for the holidays. I feel, and I'm yeah. jo- I'm joking again. I feel like I got to. He definitely fucks with Christmas. That. No, yeah, Champ he does. well, if yeah. anyone if anyone can afford to push their tour back, it's Chance. Yeah, where well, that that just says I don't need the paper. Yeah, he I'm does. cool. He does. He, he's good. Chance or whoever is supplying America's gas stations with yeah, the gas. Yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah. And we don't know that it's not Chance. Could be or his dad. <laughs> Y'all don't find it odd that he always makes it to these burning vehicles. <laughs> It's like it's, it's like it's a hundred of them. No, right? no, I'm not thinking about it. <laughs> no, you don't think about it. <laughs> and you just drive right back. You have his number two. Didn't even call him. <laughs> Yo, Nas was so blown away by the uh, concept of being a gun. 
<laughs> Yo, what, I, I just want to know how your brain works. What made you think? <laughs> what made you think about that just now? Because periodically, just randomly, you start thinking about every old year. Right? I think like that. The beginning of I got it. That that no, um, they just they I just you they just use that me. beat comes on. I'm yeah. a gun. They ding, just use ding, me like ding, I'm like I'm a ding, like I'm a gun. Like, like I'm a gun, yo. <laughs> yo, shit. <laughs> Yo, it's like I'm a motherfucking god. I can't even believe I'm a god. <laughs> Yo, sometimes rappers just go too, too no, far. No, but then he killed man. it. And then yeah. after hey, I'm like, oh, see, you're a gun. You're a gun. Yeah, a gun. Like, I'm a gun, too. Yo, I, took, I took myself out of the case. Bullets, I was like, ah. <laughs> That is funny. Man. That's one of my favorite songs. But yeah. the intro is hilarious. The intro was a little extra. <laughs> he could have just gotten to the rap. The intro we would have gotten it eventually. And, and, and I mean, I know nobody's saying because we love Nas. The, little, the ending of the story was a little lackluster. <laughs> the ending of nah, the story? Nah, but that's just how it goes. Yes. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> God, no. That's hard. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck Joe talk about. Yeah. All right, no. All right. <laughs> How we doing? No, we, we, we don't need to pull it up. I'll we don't cue it, need to I'll pull it up because you don't have it. No, I'm sure. I, I do have it. I do have it right here, buddy. Hold up. Preem. Damn. <laughs> Is this Preem? Yeah, it's Preem. I didn't know it was Preem. Wait a second. God damn it. <laughs> Preem did something without scratching? <laughs> yeah, this might be one of the few ones where he didn't scratch on. Wow, Preem. Oh, man. Honored to be I in the family. I bet he's got a version with scratches on it, too. He's like, they didn't want to use the one with the scratches. I, it, Mad about it still, <laughs> it telling worked. everybody. <laughs> Yeah, I don't get the, the sh- whole in- this whole intro is. <laughs> I don't get to say shit. Just grab me. Oh, <laughs> they get hard though. <laughs> oh, 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 wait. Cold steel for real. Oh, trying to keep me concealed. Yo, guns was made to kill. I got it. <laughs> I don't know if you know no, what I got. No, it. no, I get it now. But back then, ooh. let me get to that. Hold up, real quick. Let me just see because maybe y'all are right and I'm bugging. Somebody stomped him out. His dome was aching. He placed me in. Yeah, this was a regular fight in the hood. Come on, I'm not rolling with this. But he was the gun. He was showing Damn. how regular it was. That's what it was. A nigga, got, a nigga got beat up. He went back home, grabbed the gun, came out and shot the nigga to beat him up. Mm-hmm. Nah, someone else grabbed the gun. Off the ground. That's the thing. See, Damn. Joe, yeah, he missed. The, he missed the jewels. You ain't even catch all those. Yeah, that's crazy. Joe. Way over there, okay? <laughs> you ain't catch it. You ain't catch all the jewels, my nigga. It felt wrong knowing they was waiting in hell for him. All right, fall to the floor. So fast, I didn't know he was. Oh man, this guy's ill, man. Not as ill. <laughs> Top he three. killed this shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and we weren't supposed to be talking about that. Uh, what were we supposed to be talking about? Uh, Chance? Tour? Yeah, put the last thing we talked about? Yeah. Chance does not want to spend time with his family, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's a production issue. Something ain't ready. And you know what? I'm joking. Chance probably is the guy that wants to spend time with his family. I love Absolutely. you, Chance. He definitely Absolutely. does. But as I was reading no, that... I, I see what he did. He tried to get all the wife raps out so he'd go on tour and his wife was like, nah, you gotta live your raps. You can't talk all that shit. Stay right here. Mm. That's a fact. But you wouldn't know you hadn't heard the album yet. That's true. Chance dress, <laughs> Chance, Chance's dressing room is mad dry at the show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tea, lemon, honey. Chips. I'm saying, Doritos. I'm just saying, ain't, ain't no bodies yeah. in there. He's got a lot of... Dr- no, of course <laughs> no. Not a Chance dressing room, no. Well, Maul, you were just telling us that no dressing room is a dressing room really without the thotties. So why don't you That's give, some of, that, give yeah, some of that Maul knowledge to the yeah, come, use, your, use, your, yeah. use your platform Kick the to truth. Open, open the dialogue. Yeah, you need to have thotties in the dressing room. It helps relax, uh, you know, some of the pre, pre-show pre jitters. Uh, you know, you might be a little nervous. You some, get of the, little, some of the post-show jitters, yeah, too. Po- huh? yeah, 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 post-show yeah. jitters, too, yeah. After helps the mas- yeah. master class, you, yeah, you helps bring you jitters. Down. Yeah, it helps calm you down a little bit. Maybe a shoulder rub. Yeah, helps calm you down. Bars, you made a good point. Like... This nigga be spending the night at all, after all the master class. He'll yeah, never yeah. come right back. Well, well, that, you know, you know, no he gets out late. No, no, yeah, no, you know, no. It's not. If, it's not me. What the master class fault. green room look like? Uh, it's calm. Dogs calm. everywhere. No, just calm. Ready to listen <laughs> to your every beck and call. Yeah. He's so, he's <laughs> so, so smart. Me, Joe trying to give me cancer. <laughs> 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 they want to listen to my beck and call. Yeah, I know. I what know what that means. Twenty nineteen. 
That, that get niggas canceled. Oh, he just has women lined up ready for every beck and call. But what's wrong with having women lined up? I don't know. The, the society makes everything wrong now. I don't know. I don't agree with it, but I don't know. All right. Well, I'll just leave it then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, I'll, I'll, yeah. Leave it right there. We're good on that one. Yeah. Well, that's where we draw the line, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta draw it somewhere, Joe. Listen, man. No justice, no gas. <laughs> <laughs> it was a nigga pumping his tank right behind all that shit. They wasn't. They was at the mart. Yeah, like yo, watch out. It wasn't even like, at the. Fucking... I got somewhere to go. I'm about to get this gas from right here. Like, it I was in you the got robbed. They probably the low prices yeah, too. Yeah, that's fucked up, shorty. They took your your Maserati, but yo, I'm getting this gas. <laughs> <laughs> Fill this Camry up. <laughs> Nikki unretired. I don't. Y'all keep saying that. How? Let me pull my list down. I ain't already <laughs> fucking put half the list. <laughs> no justice. Are you going to explain it tomorrow? Or, oh, I thought you, you want to go with something else. I no, thought that was a pause break. About, no, no, y'all go ahead. Oh, yeah. Uh, Nikki tweeted a fan and was like, nah, I'm going to talk about it on Queen Radio. Don't worry. I overreacted or some shit. I don't know. Ah, did getting she, those ratings up. Did she put she out did. a Queen Radio since then? I don't think so. Okay, she so, text her. I don't know. Ask. So we, so we got to wait. Yes, we have to wait. I think she's still retiring. I don't think she's or, ta- or taking some time off. I don't think she's retiring. She's gonna take a few years off. We'll have to tune in. I will. For, to, for, for that, for her to explain that, I will. You, are, are you, you gonna? No, go? you've been. No, <laughs> no, 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 I will. No, Get notifications for her yeah. explain this one. I've never. T- I got us. I got to peep for that. No. Yeah, no, for this year. Boss, yo, need, just wait on it. it. Yeah. <laughs> are you gonna protect DJ Academics? Are you like the no. mediator between the two of them? No, okay. definitely not. All right, here's a much juicier story. Albie Al is arrested for attempted murder. I read that. Yeah, I read that. But like, I didn't. I didn't. I read the, the headline. I didn't read the story though. Albert Robinson, 32, of Irvington, and Darnell. I'm not. I don't feel right saying niggas' whole names. Albert and Darnell <laughs> mm-hmm. yep. of Jersey City are accused of shooting a 34 year old Patterson man. Passaic County prosecutor, whoever said Saturday. Uh, police arrived on the scene 2 a.m. August 23rd found the victim was taken to St. Joseph's Hospital second Patterson man also had been shot at but was not injured officials said Passaic police investigators from the uh, prosecutor's office and members of the state police fugitive task force arrested Robinson on uh, September 6th in Kenilworth and Reeves in September on uh, September 5th in Avenel. that's what we got Robinson and Reeves have been charged with two counts of first degree attempted murder, unlawful possession of a handgun and unlawful possession of a handgun for unlawful purpose. If convicted, both men are looking at 10 to 20 years. And that's what we have there. Mm. Damn. Uh, LBL is super dope, man. <laughs> yeah, LBL is nice. Yeah, but uh, yeah, this is unfortunate <clears throat> to hear. This is, un- this is a really sad story for me to hear. Um. And listening to it or reading it, I can't help but focus on, you know, a big part of being a successful rapper today. And and before you learn the business of music, you got to just learn life. Mm -hmm. Because as talented as Albie is, it was probably a bunch of people in the the music business that wanted to give him a bag they were scared to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, there's plenty of people for years. I mean, I'm talking about, like, at least over the past seven years, I've known a few people that wanted to just put him in a position but were afraid because of the lyrics or the lifestyle not necessarily sure but it's a fine line to walk it's a fine line to walk while fans and consumers will applaud you uh for lack of a better term living your truth Mm. uh or living that life and keeping it it in your music keeping it real Yeah. yeah uh those things work against you as well so i'm just real super sad jersey city takes a hit uh, prayers to just everybody involved in this. There's not a winner yeah. in this. And I'll yeah. never understand niggas doing dirt in Passaic. A, a New Jersey New Jersey uh, residents, uh, younger ones, the demo, you know the demo I'm talking to. Passaic don't mean us well. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I'm going to just leave it there. Passaic doesn't mean us well. Often on this podcast, I get into, you know, I know shit about geography, but certain places... You know to stay out of, yeah, and that's and that's and that's well, that's all I got with that. Um, let's yeah, that's see. sad there because I I like Albia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super uh, he 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 was he was somebody that I thought was really really on his way to doing some 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 dope shit, and he just represents a, a part of the culture that you know we all know and all come from. So, 
Yeah, man. And, and listen, we don't know that he won't go on to continue to do some great shit. He's already beat a murder rap. Mm. Um, so we'll just have to see what happens with this one. But yeah. uh, again, prayers to everybody involved in this because there's not a winner here. Mm. Yeah. Uh, what else is going on? Oh, the BET streaming service that I came in here and laughed about. Uh, they're about to launch. Nine ninety nine, ten dollars. How do we feel? How do we feel? Ten dollars. What get they got? What, Ty, what, you, what do you, I you get? get? Tyler Perry. I'm cool. <laughs> Yo, let's, <laughs> no, let's, what see, else? let's find out. No, that's it, nigga. You it's get up here. Him and Medea. <laughs> well, he is my dude. Uh, BET, the forthcoming streaming, uh, BET Plus, the forthcoming streaming service from Viacom and Tyler Perry is not wasting any time. Oh, from Viacom and Tyler Perry. Oh, I didn't know that. Not wasting any time and getting down to business. BET announced Monday that its streaming platform, a joint venture with Multi Hyphenate Perry. Multi Hyphenate Perry? I don't know if we're reading the same thing, so I can't even. Will officially launch Thursday, September 19th and cost $9.99 per month. The service will debut with more than 1,000 hours of content, including new originals and film and TV library content that includes Perry's stage plays and acquired content, all of which will be ad-free. Not enough, y'all. I see is uh, ad-free will also be the place to go for old favorites. For instance, the service will be exclusive streaming video on-demand home for the 90 sitcom hit Martin. I think that might get me to sign up. What? If I could just watch Martin on demand, I mean that's pretty cool. I watch that shit now, like like it's like right. it's new. That's one of those. Yeah, you I don't know if I get. You wouldn't pay ten dollars a month to watch Martin on demand. Well, that's one of the reasons. I you, mean, it's probably some other dope shit. You could do there. the three month trial, watch it on three months, and then cancel it. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm I I like all I I like I like the new game of exclusive content to networks. So I'm going to pay for all that shit. I'm, not, I'm probably not going to pay for BET Plus, I'll be honest with you. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not going to do that for Tyler Perry and, and Martin. But I'm interested to see how it does. I'm sure it'll do well. I mean, You're not Tyler sure Perry's shit. How do you know? Tyler Perry's got a huge audience. It means nothing. That's what they're banking on, too, which is why they gave him the bag. But now you have to be a result. Yeah, and I don't know and it's, it's his it's, age it's, demographic. It's a crowded lane. His... It's a crowded lane out there. Well, well... I think I think that uh, I think streaming is for all demos now, mm-hmm. for yeah. all age groups. I don't. It but, is. but one of this because I don't think this is going to be a, a launch to the way obviously Disney was. So I don't know if it's going to get the reach that it would properly need to do so. I'm sure his fans will be aware of it, and he has a lot of fans. Well, you pro- Joe will probably get a promo code. They got Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, so maybe you can get us couple months free like I, I, I listen I love when people find new and innovative ways to be disruptive and while this may not be that yet it maybe turns into that if Tyler Perry who has his own production house and big ass studio on a uh, mil, million mile acre or whatever it is he has out there that compound yeah. he has it gets really interesting if he just starts putting movies out on his app <laughs> yeah never before seen not Medea, not nothing. Now I'm just Netflix. I'm shooting commercials. Mm-hmm. I'm shooting my movie, funding it myself. I'm paying it. I'm paying content I, no, creators that, for shit. I can and see now that I'm it to BC. I yeah, that, that. that I support. And that, yeah, I that. support that. Yeah, but congratulations. I, don't, I don't know if I want to pay ten dollars a month to see uh, Daddy's Little Girls and uh, being Mary Jane. Ten dollars to anybody in here if they could tell me uh, what girl rapper sings Daddy's Little Girl from the nineties. MC Light. No way. Daddy's Little Girls. Then she had that. What, that wasn't light? Nikki D. Did did, did she like sample that? Maybe? Yes, I think she did. Oh, okay. I think like did sample that. We'd have to look into it. And we're not going to ask Saban to look it up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what else we got? What else we got? Rory, we're fucking tag team on a list. So when I don't look at mine, you should be well, ready of, with the next. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> you, you hear my guy Fox? Well, speaking of, they, <laughs> where Fox a- going? Apple announcer, <laughs> hey! uh, Apple TV thing today. $5 a month. I just bought a Samsung TV that has all that shit, and my cable box from Verizon has all that shit. I I punted my Apple TV today. Oh yeah, wait, <laughs> should have gave it to me. Wait, no, so- Apple TV is not like the Apple TV. It's Apple. It's a streaming service that they're doing oh. with all original okay. content. Gotcha. The Oprah shit. Uh, they got a bunch of um, a bunch of people have original shows over there. Oh okay. Five dollars a month though is kind of the talking. I thought point. you meant the actual Apple TV thing. It's much cheaper than everybody else. Oprah has a show over there. Yeah. How did Oprah do when she got her own shit? Her own what? She got her own everything. (laughs) The network where she She moved to Oprah. She got a network. She got a clothing line. Nah, Oprah owes us an apology. For Mike? Yeah. I don't want to hear nothing about no ventures and shows. (laughs) Fair. 
Are you guys getting the new iPhone? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> When's it come out? Next month. I think. Yeah, I think it's got to be next month. They announced it today. Out, 20th, October, right? I think. Yeah. No, it's they got know three they... fucking cameras, four different colors. They normally come out in September. So yeah, I think, I think they said September 20th. I guess I didn't mean next month. Next week. September 20th? <laughs> oh, okay. When? The 13th. You could pre-order, pre-order it. on the 13th? Whoopee. I just bought a new phone last month. Now what? I mean, that's the thing is they're not they're not really innovating at a, at a Steve, level where yeah. you got to buy new shit. Like, yeah, there's nothing. What, what's happening? They they put more more camera cameras. Eyes. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. and that shit. You say that now. Weird. It looks a little weird. Well, yeah, I mean, the little <laughs> night vision fucking camera is kind of cool. I guess. Oh, oh it's gonna get nasty. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back with another hype one for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's all they had to do to get me in. You said pre all these women. <laughs> I'll be there. The night vision oh, camera. Oh man, come on, Joe. You know what time come it on, is. Come Joe. You know what time. You the know who master that's class. For. Yeah, you know who that's for. <laughs> Who's this nigga at the I door? Don't know. That's what... I know that. No. Relax, buddy. No. 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 And nah. <laughs> don't just be looking through the window yeah, like that. No lime green shirt, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> um, he better tell somebody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I mean, I don't know. I'm not buying a new iPhone. I don't think. Although I do need one. Yeah, Park still got the home button. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like the button, man. Might be time. Pause. Uh, I don't think... Oh, because his name? Yeah. You know, oh, the, wow. You're on the Joe Button podcast. Don't come in here. I, uh, like, I like the button, man. No, you don't uh, like the button. You don't even know the button. <laughs> <laughs> Night vision changes the, the game, though. I mean, it just makes it a little brighter. There's a, there's a brightener. Mm-hmm. Apple. Listen, I make all my sex, sex vids in the daytime when the light hits me a certain way. I ain't really trying to... <laughs> <laughs> what? I ain't trying to. You're trying to record some shit at nighttime? Oh, yeah, we did an old live set about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah did, nah. we did about 17 shows <laughs> with the same jokes. <laughs> we killed that. Don't tell the streets that. Yeah, yeah, We're chill, freestyling. Chill, chill, chill. <laughs> Off the top. <laughs> <laughs> just, came, just came up with this in the green room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, I've had enough of y'all. Unless, you, unless y'all have something to talk about, I am get, ready. Get into your little yeah, post Malone yeah, digging. Yeah. Let's get it out the way. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it out the way. Rory. I like the album. Roar, but listen to me. Listen to me for mad seconds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm listening. You are... I really can't... I don't want to hear anything that you have to say about Post Malone's album, and here's why. Okay. Post Malone did what your little white brother attempted to do and failed miserably. Who's my white brother? Ed Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> That is your now, white brother. Now tell me. I don't tell know me why you keep putting me Now tell me, me I'm lying. lying. But tell me I'm, that's, not your, that's not your white brother? They are two, no. And those are two totally different artists. <laughs> it, Parks, is brother, on, hey, it is your Let's brother. It is your white there. brother. I played, I played one, like seven years ago, I played one Ed Sheeran cover. Yeah. Nah. I've never played another Ed Sheeran song since. <laughs> nah, but he's a redhead. No, so. nah, when I met Rory, he had all the Ed Sheeran covers Tattoos. on deck. In his iPod Nano. <laughs> My Nano. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't pick. I didn't know what was next. <laughs> but listen, your dude, your dude came out. <laughs> Tried to shock the urban culture with a Charlemagne interview. <laughs> Dud. <laughs> <laughs> then he tried to shock the culture with a track list with a whole bunch of black artists. Nobody talking about it with Rory. Guess what? I never a dud. A fucking dud. I still haven't seen it. Then he... Yeah, enough of it. We gotta get this. <laughs> we gotta get this guy. And then he snuck that, this album out, Ed Sharon, and you heard right? <laughs> He's so full of shit. No, I really, hey, I really way, haven't listened to that. Either show. way, nobody really went back to the Ed Sharon project that I can hear, at least. Mm-hmm. I think he probably went diamond. And that, ahead. <laughs> no, I'm never talking about what these gentlemen sell. And I will never meet 10 million people. I never heard it in the streets. <laughs> so, yeah. whatever 10 million people do have nothing to do with it. I never me. heard it the streets. I'm going to talk to 10 of these niggas. Just look, at Park, get, look at Park trying to get on his couch. Yo. I've never heard his shit out. At the parties. I never heard it. Only C-town. the weirdos. No, I didn't say the parties. The Sea Town. That's the party I go to. No, you. Definitely. If you don't hear Ed Sheeran in the grocery store, it wasn't a hit. It's you have heard. Yeah, that's the, a fact. Uh, that's a fact. Uh, what oh, was that. Yeah, no. Hit? I'm saying this uh, new uh, album. Uh, this new album. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Uh, I'll keep it a, a buck with you. This isn't bullshit. I really didn't even know Ed Sheeran put out a new album. You lied. Did y'all? But I didn't know that Post Malone was. I didn't know Post Malone was put out. I, I, I found out the day it was out. I didn't see it prior. And Some fans you guys all are. Right, I get, well, no. These, I thought you these, were besties. These guys don't let you know when they put out albums anymore, especially mm. niggas like Post Malone, who I read is projected to do 550. Good for him. <laughs> no, much better than good for him. Good for him <laughs> would have been 90. <laughs> Five. Wait, what? No, I'm just saying that would have been oh, okay. a good for him. No, I don't think oh, 90 go is ahead. his. 
I'm just saying that's been. when he would have got. Oh, good for you. Ninety would have been five fifty. Is <laughs> that's insane? Don't give me a good for me on the five fifty, fam. Yeah, that's a wow. Yeah, give me some head. Some what? Head. Yeah, I agree. I need something different on the 550. If I do 550 a week, somebody. I need a mink remote for the TV. Yeah. <laughs> chinchilla. I want a chinchilla remote. I still haven't listened to yeah. it either. That's I want a cool. chinchilla that can change the TV. Yeah, no. Like an true. actual animal. So just when I had lost hope for <clears throat> talented white uh, singers, uh, songstresses, and rappers mm -hmm. featuring all of the black people that are popular, putting gotcha. out an album <laughs> and it working and gaining traction and momentum. Within the black community, you fucking guessed it. Posty, post. Now, and I, it, you know the crazy thing when he first came out, he put that first song out. I thought he was gonna be just. I hated that song. Yeah, I thought he was gonna be a head and going. Right, I, was, right. yeah, I, I hated I'm, that. I'm song. glad. I'm glad Joe's finally admitting his hate for Post Malone at one point. I didn't want to snitch, <laughs> but I was there when he was killing that record and killing him. But everybody and then was, I seen you smoking cigarettes with not, him on the red not, carpet. I was like, wait, how did this happen? See, but that's, <laughs> but that's not a secret. Y'all be calling me phony, but I told Post Malone I hated him. You put I, it in a bar. I hate that, huh? You put it in a bar on Rage. I forgot what the bar was. Yeah, I dissed him. The, the fucking Post Malone, Utah Jazz, whatever that Uncle yeah, Joe yeah. shit was. But, yeah, I hated that White Iverson song. Fuck that song. I still I hate remember. that song. I was confused as to why everybody was like, why not? Just like, Shut up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? I've never even seen Iverson play. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all these little white kids running around, why not? Iverson. Anyway, uh, but niggas don't really fuck with, for some reason, I can't understand. Like, my black friends pretend like they don't fuck with Post. Like, I must have missed like a nigger vid or some shit that dropped. No, he did a video. What did he do? He did a video in Germany where he said something to the effect of, if you want... If I want to get sad and listen to some lyrics, I'm going to listen to rock and roll because hip-hop doesn't do that for me. And yeah, it was, it was regarding lyrics, and he brought up, like, Bob Dylan, I think. And yeah. Like, the rap could never. And I'm like, well, I know a lot of rappers that would shit on Bob Dylan when it comes to lyrics, but that's just... I mean, me. no, Bob Dylan was a very good lyricist, and I understood what he was saying. If you want to get in some emotional sad bag, I want to listen to Bob Dylan before I listen to Young Thug. That's well, I don't why, think that's an unfair thing to say. No, it is. There's, no, it isn't. <laughs> nah, did they why throw Moon music the in the only, equation? He didn't, he didn't bring up Moon music. Why is there only one? Bob Dylan it is then. Yeah. <laughs> nah, come on, man. <laughs> Top three, not one and two. Yeah. No. It, well, if that's, all he said, then, if that's all he said, then I don't, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Because he's not even a hip-hop act, really. But, well, all right. Then, th then is he not a, a culture vulture here? Why? Because he has rappers on his own? It's just, it's only rappers? It's not only rappers. He's got Ozzy Osbourne on there. He's got SZA, He's got SZA on there. He's got Halsey on there. SZA's part of hip hop. Fuck out of here. All right. Enough of enough of having to hear Rory's voice <laughs> when Post Malone has this greatness out. Rory wants Post out of the out of the equation. I like this album. He mad. He mad because Ed Sheeran didn't have the range. <laughs> uh oh. He got Ozzy. <laughs> Some people never did, heard Yo, I gotta be honest. Y'all don't fuck with Black Sabbath? Who? Huh? Just asking the question. Yeah. Don't, ask, don't ask me. I that. know you fuck with Black Sabbath. I was about Sabbath. to say, I don't yeah. let me play a set. <laughs> what, 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 what was I about to say? What you were saying? No, I was seeing people, uh, some people had no idea who Ozzy Osbourne was before they heard this record. I was seeing like, sure. the reaction online. They loved the record, but they was, was like, a, whoever was Ozzy Osbourne is, he's about to be Damn. out of here. You Black Sabbath you, came out in 1970. You don't remember when, you don't remember when uh, Rihanna, and Rihanna and Kanye and Paul McCartney did that song and the kids were saying, who's this Paul McCartney dude that <laughs> Kanye threw a bone to? <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, he threw a bone to Paul he McCartney. Right. <laughs> He, he helped him out. Yo, look at the world. Yo, the that world. was a good look, bro. The world. He was lucky to be in that gap. Ass. He probably did it for the look too. Threw a bone. Paul, to right. Paul, yeah, Paul, Paul, yeah, yeah. He needed the look. Yeah, yo, <laughs> he did it on the arm. Threw a bone to Paul McCartney. <laughs> white people, right? And this is this is more white privilege, but this role, this role of this guy, this this voice, the white singing rock. But who you know, that's your bag. You know you that bag. Oh, that is the <laughs> best bag in the world, my who executive nigga. Executive producers album. I don't know. They did a damn good job. I think uh, the same Louis Bell actually. I was talking. He, he did uh, Broken. Oh yeah. On all of Lost. He's done all this shit since the beginning. Basically, he has other producers too. But that's the main guy. Parks told me that. Yeah. <laughs> I was just doing some research. He said he produced for Joe Budden. I was like, huh. And I looked. That's kind of. He did produce for Joe Budden. Look at that. Oh my god. Take what you want. Just go. I never needed nothing from you, bitch. 
<laughs> you couldn't even keep it a bean. Oh, you a lying hoe. I almost trusted you. Ah! Uh, ah! Ah! Yes! <laughs> oh, it finally came that day. Tell that bitch. Oh my God! Fam, the second half of the Post Malone album is great. Yeah, the you first. Not like the first half. It's not for me. Yeah, it's a little too poppy. Yeah. I think. But is that the, is that what it is? I can't figure yeah, out why they well, like my it. Problem is it, with it. Yeah, okay. It's too. And then that's fucked up because the second half is just hard poppy. Like yeah. this is a pop song, Absolutely. but it's yeah. darker. Yeah, I can't do that light pop. Yeah, that's song. dark. But the second it. half of Travis, though. Oh, wait a minute, go yeah, Travis. He went crazy. <laughs> This nigga I'm Travis, man, right fam. Yeah. This nigga yeah. Travis. Yeah, like, anytime you can flow like that, I'm listening. You know what? You know what? You know what? I gotta give these dudes they credit for. Like, if there were a relay race, like you just said, you like that flow a lot. If there were a race of all the artists that can get in that flow bag, mm -hmm. boy, Travis left that pack. <laughs> oh yeah, and that's yeah. impressive to me, considering it's such a small arena of different ways to play with it. Like yeah. I'm talking about from Future, Young Thug, uh, Travis. It's a bunch of them. I don't want to shortchange anybody by forgetting a name because that's not my area of expertise. But, right. But, when but you... even Post Malone, the difference between Post's first verse and Travis coming on is just like go ahead, where you saying? But, but when you produce the actual music, I, I think that plays a big factor into how you actually flow and find the pockets on certain things you just have more in touch with the actual beat and how it's going to be crafted you're not trying to find the pocket you're creating the pocket but travis doesn't produce all of his own shit for the most part he's not even, even if he's not even, touching the mpc he's, he's producing oh absolutely yeah, From, yeah. <laughs> you know sometimes we talk oh well, no hold on because he just he came on <laughs> i don't know what he said but and then i've word nigga um but sometimes we be talking about uh, the producer, like the conversation y'all are having right now, and I'm, well, I'd be more inclined to know who's doing the arranging with Travis. I think he has a lot to do with the Yeah, I think he has this. a lot to do with that, too. I think that would be <clears throat> where he's producing, quote-unquote. That is yeah. producing, I, right? I, but Mike Dean is also heavily involved with all this shit, so of course. he's having I, that. I think Travis Having artistry, a fucking vet like that in your I think Travis artistry arsenal. is much more on the arranging side than it even is on the rapping or singing side. I think that comes second and when I think, he sits in a studio. I think that's just as important. Absolutely. If not more. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, wait. All right. Got to hear him. Come on. Oh, man. Come on. I just gave you change for the coupe. Like, some of these artists, these new age artists, have taken ownership of a note, like a melody. Like, anytime yeah. I hear somebody do, I mean, eh, yeah. like, that's Travis's note. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is crazy. Y'all know what this is missing, right? Guitar solo. A little. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I'll lose oh, the guitar solo. <laughs> oh, hey, and this is happening. It's ha no, and, uh, Might as well not even talk. It's going. We let it rock. <laughs> I know I say that all the time and don't let it rock, but this is rocking. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, ow! Y'all know what the fuck we're going. I mean, one wall would have been fine. <laughs> I 
That's nice. <laughs> That's a good record. That's a good record. Fam, the whole second half of his album is like dope like that. Yeah, I gotta get into it. I've been on the Sir album. I ain't really been trying to listen to nothing else. Sir album is great. Sir album made me take a break from Snow for a minute. Still my choice for album of the year. I'm not leaving that. Um, but this album, he put his Travis feet. He put his future feature. Before the Young Thug feature, oh no! Before this feature, he put this the, the future Young Thug and Travis feature like back to back to back to back, along with like Scissor. All of these, who else is here? Baby, Meek. Future, Holy Meek is in there. Oh, oh, the Young Thug feature is a little further down. But my point is, that didn't scare him. Mm-hmm. That didn't scare him to have artists that fall in such a similar category on similar sounding songs that close to each other on an album. I only bring it up to speak to the level of confidence that the musician got to have to do that. Yeah. Like, this nigga was, was confident in these, in these songs. And I don't know who wrote them, but these bitches is clean. I'm dicky, but whatever. <laughs> nah, yo, I love when I had no idea that a project was coming. Like, you ain't saw really you, Oh, my God. It's like, that's like the best shit in the world. Yeah, I'm check it out. Parts Lewis Bell was the name you said? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's all over every writing and production. Well, why did Lewis Bell only give us broke? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> it was a good beat and hook. Yeah, yeah. and then had to fight E1 over it. <laughs> Fucking stupid ass E1. That's why Hasbro got y'all niggas. <laughs> <laughs> you too. Oh, whatever. <laughs> um, listen, I, I don't want to keep playing joints because I am going to play one of these joints uh, for a sleeper. Actually, which joint am I playing for a sleeper? Oh, I'm playing the future joint. So, <gasps> I mean, when we get there. <laughs> Where's Thug? I gotta get back to that Thug album. Actually, good. Before, before I play this, I will double back on some Rory said a while ago. Now, uh, now that it's been a little while, how how many times have you listened to that uh, drum in her wait, record? Wait, 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 wait. Sunflowers on this album? Yeah, that was a single. Yeah, a while the, ago. Yeah, it's from the movie. You, you just striped it from the uh, from the soundtrack. What? You no. off it now? No, no, no. I, no I, I, there's mad album. other songs on no, that. No, no, I, I just see with the with the numbers now. I get it. I get it. Oh, I mean that helps definitely. I'm, yeah, I'm sure Spider Man. <laughs> right yeah. It help. Yeah. Like come on now, because I that five fifty was like wait hold up. But post but now, 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 now he sells, not, he sells no. albums. I think he did four fifty the last time. I'm not saying he don't sell He's records. One of the highest I'm not saying that. No, like in a week. But I was trying to I was trying to remember what his single was. Oh, for this album. Yeah. I didn't know um, what the single was. He has a single. He does have a single. I he forgot has. which one it was. It's, it's on the top half of the album that I don't yeah, give a fuck it is. with. Oh, wow. I love that record. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. I like. Yeah, that, that that's wasn't my one shit. of the songs I was talking about. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> congratulations to Post Malone. Uh, the Hollywood Bleeding album is great. But I mean, I like his last two albums too. So what do you want me to do? I like Post Malone music. Fair. All right. Yeah, I like them too. Um. Anything else in music that we need to get to? Do we uh? Do we believe the Rihanna t- tweets from the German executives that say her <laughs> album is coming in December? <laughs> I don't believe the Germans, man. <laughs> French. Yeah. I, it was it was a country somewhere over there. Yeah. I, don't, I don't believe them, but I, I I never stopped believing Rihanna when she said music is coming in 2019. Yeah. She never said when, and she's been rather busy. But yeah, that's fashion. December week, so she's... December is the end of 2019. Yeah. I still believe we're getting a Rihanna album. So you believe it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I believe them, but I just believe we're getting a Rihanna album <laughs> from Belgium. Yeah, I don't no, know. I think we're definitely getting an album this year. No, me too. That's happening. Um, the Bill Burr special. Who saw it? I saw I it. Saw it this morning. <laughs> of course, of course, you two saw it. <laughs> Maul, did you see it? No, I'm watching it tonight. Well, I, right. by the time they hit this, I would have watched it. It's, it's, a, it's a good watch. It's, it's a really very good watch. It's, it's, it's I might good, double yeah. down tonight. I don't when know I if I want to watch Bill Burr early in the morning. Morning, that just my my day might be all over the place. <laughs> I watched it on the train, laughing like a fucking asshole. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna watch it tonight. Yeah, I, I knew what the energy would be on this podcast because I started my morning with Bill Burr. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, oh fuck, I know that Rory and Park saw this. I know how they're giving it up too. <laughs> all right, so imagine me <laughs> watching the Bill Burr special and then saying, and then seeing no justice, no gas. How did you think <laughs> I was gonna react to that? <laughs> What did you think I was gonna come? I still in this place ball gas. <laughs> the trailer alone had me like, oh, I gotta watch this shit. Oh no, the what, trailer the gas, didn't do a service. Station? No, not the game. <laughs> <laughs> that had a trailer too. No, I'm about no. To say. Bill Burr's uh, his, his his trailer for his stand up. The trailer did this shit was way funnier. Than, I thought the trailer looked like, oh man, I don't know if we're gonna get 
to real Bill Burr. It, yeah, oh, we is did. It, is he gonna get the, <laughs> yeah, no, nah, he's got, back. He, I kind of feel like. Do y'all feel like it's a wave of of this coming with Chappelle and now this? We just said that last podcast. Yeah, I feel like comedians it's are trying to restore the feeling. But you know what? I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm. A, but he ought, he hasn't left that. So I can't say true. that he's on a wave of something. And yeah, they can they, they can wave all they want. I don't think I don't think it's but so many comedians that can pull off what what they're doing. Oh, what, yeah. what Bill Burr no, 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 and Dave Chappelle did, where yes. where you take that really sensitive, toxic walk, topic or offensive walk topic, walk that line, yeah. and yeah. you better walk it with grace or you're gonna fall. Mm. Yeah. And, and, and you have to still make it smart and intelligent, but still funny, still with some have, type of shock. You have value. to set it up properly. Yeah, you can't just do it. It's and, gotta come from people that people like. Like they haven't. Louis C.K. I think could do it, but no one likes Louis C.K. So yeah, mm. he could do it, but he wouldn't do it. <laughs> True. Ah, shit. Or he, or he just might. He, yeah, he might. <laughs> <laughs> he might. But people that's still it. people still love Louis, just not to the degree they used to. Well, he's he's been canceled. I really uh, spoiler alert. I really loved Bill Burr. How he set a lot of this shit up. Like I loved his uh, his setup uh, with him watching the Elvis doc. He got into so many different. You have to watch this shit. Oh my yeah, it, that was a brilliant way of, of getting through a bunch of topics with just a very broad conversation you're having he, with your he girl. Smoked that, <laughs> yeah. S- smoked that. He dealt with so many. He, he played the race card. He fucking played the wrong guy, like the guy that was saying all the wrong shit. Yeah. I don't want to give it away because it just came out. And I want to uh, give the audience time to watch it, but. Congratulations to Bill Burry came back because yeah. I wasn't big on his last few specials. No, his last well, one, his, his, his last one I didn't like. His la- I, think I didn't his like his last two. two. Yeah, I didn't like his last. Two. I two or a little before that in the sauce, but, yeah, he's, but he's great. So oh, like, he's, I had confidence that he would bounce back, and he did. He did. And just seeing a seasoned comedian of just like during that Elvis act, I won't spoil anything, but just how he hits the word "however," like right. that takes thirty years of experience. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It reminds me of. It's like when Dave Chappelle was doing his bit about uh, standards and practices from when he did the Chappelle show and he was walking out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, but Renee. <laughs> like, like, how, however, your t- how his tone was. Mm-hmm. like, And while that seems so simple and surfaced, it's one of the more important things, I think, no, in comedy is that, those specific words and how you say them. Oh, 100%. But I don't think that, maybe because I was a rapper, I don't think that's an easy feat. At all. Not at, at all. At, Hell no. At all. I, I, it's parallel to me with fucking vocal control on a, on a I was about R&B. to say, it's the same type of thing. It's like dynamic. Using yes. your voice dynamically is not mm-hmm. easy to do. Yeah. No matter what the medium. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just about, it's, it's, it's how you say something. And I was about to say, it may be even tougher if I'm a comedian trying to do it like Parks just said, because at least if I'm a singer, I know how that note got to hit or how it has to be sung to get the reaction I'm looking for. Right. With a comedian. There's actually rules to it. Yeah, like there's, yeah, there's really, rules there's, to music. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's not rules to comedy. Yeah, yeah. you don't know how, what cadence is going to get the crowd to. Yeah, it's, it, they don't. And man, your they cadence don't. and tone just changes completely how someone interprets interprets what you're saying. Yeah, like it could come, especially when you're doing race stuff in that way. Like 100%. just one wrong tone, and it it changes the entire bit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah it's true. Um, I'll tell you, Dave Chappelle and Bill Burr have made it difficult for the, for the next one up. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I mean, if you're, gonna, if you're gonna walk that line, is she next? <laughs> right, I don't know if he's joking or not. Is Whatever she... happened to her, the, the the Netflix special? We never got much. She got the deal, right? I don't know. I don't know I don't if know. that she that might have been it might have been a farce. Oh. It might have been a rumor. I don't know. I can't okay. speak to it. And well, I now's her time to get her shit off. Well, now's the time for comedians getting. Yeah. Well, no. Even I, though they're all getting up there saying how this is the scariest time, and and I like that about the fucking comedians too. When you too. get up there and just tackle how this is the worst time to do this, yeah. mm-hmm. but I'm here. Yeah, and and while doing that, they're killing with people like Chappelle and Burr because they're so popular. Killing the idea that maybe safe comedy will really become a thing. Yeah, <laughs> like I don't want to. I don't want to see that. Shit. I don't want to see that shit out of here at all. Yeah, I'm, I want a little bit of toxic with my comedy. I want a, a lot. lot of I want a lot of it. Yeah, in fact, if you're good at it. All if you're good at it. <laughs> yeah, wait, I want a sprinkle of safe. Yeah, wait, let me get some extra toxic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, extra toxic with my shit. But that's but that's kind of the point of you know it's it's how you say things. Like with with the whole Blake Griffin and Caitlyn Jenner shit, like when you set up an environment like a roast. Maul, tell the people what you're referring to that don't know. Well, they had a roast for Caitlyn Jenner. No, it was a roast for um, uh, Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin, oh, correct. Al- excuse me, Alec Baldwin. And uh, Blake Griffin got up there and he started, uh, you know, <laughs> roasting Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah, <laughs> but in honor of Alec Baldwin, <laughs> a lot of the shit that he was saying in a different environment could have been taken. As, oh, of course. You know what I'm saying, well, that's but that's what roast is for. But this is what I'm saying. So you can say certain things. Mm. It's well, all about how and where. I'd like to know some of the things that that he was saying. 
Blake? Uh, Blake, uh, we could just watch it instead of me trying to butcher and explain it. As a human, I want to thank you for the doors you've opened. And on behalf of the entire NBA and half of the rappers on the Billboard charts, I want to thank you for giving your daughters their daddy issues. They love it. No, that's crazy. <laughs> Damn. How and where you say things. No, nah, he smoked that. That's so he's got uh, Neil <laughs> Brennan helps him with his shit. So well, he's been Blake like Griffin has, has is trying to be a stand up comedian or yeah. working to be one. So yeah. this isn't like when Shaq goes up there and everyone just writes his shit and then he just says it. Right. Like this is something he's actively Wait, trying to do. He just with. dropped him like a bomb out of nowhere. Who you Woj? Woj. <laughs> it's Roge You ain't know <laughs> Rojahowski <laughs> That's your man Roge right Ew. there Roge <laughs> <laughs> Yo I didn't know that Blake uh, Was working on a stand up career Like where did you get that did you say? He did something no, in LA You could just You could go to the comedy store He's yeah. there he's been, yeah. he's been to LA like He was before. on Neil Brennan's podcast He's been like Following him around on tour I guess And <laughs> yeah, working with him Yeah so great I'd be asking y'all, like, how the common regular person would know some of this stuff. And y'all like, Neil Brennan has oh. a popular podcast. He's a famous comedian. Yeah. It's or all over it, YouTube. Or it's like, oh, just go to the comedy shop. Like, you've yeah. never been. Just walk in. Well, you can. It's $20. You can, it's pretty accessible. And it's in one of the biggest cities in the country. It's normally always sold out with a line wrapped around the block. See? Look yeah. at your privilege. Yeah. Look at we your walked, privilege. No, we true. walked Maybe right in the other day. Yo, y'all are two white gentlemen in L.A. One Sunday. I don't know. That is true. I, 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 I had a hard time when I tried. I had to call Rory. Yeah. Like, he had to connect. <laughs> That's Rory. Wait, Rory, you know somebody? I, I did, actually. That's my <laughs> point. I called the white guy. <laughs> and then I wasn't going to go because, uh, well, I was going to go, but then it was a blackout. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. All the lights went out in Katana. <laughs> that, was, that was bad The lights are already low in there Yeah hey, You're doing fine <laughs> Yeah but when They got the torches outside yeah, out. but when the lights Go all the way out Pass you, me a fork Yeah you know <laughs> like, yeah. I, I want to protect myself <laughs> The, the chopstick no, ain't gonna no, cut I wanna it. eat <laughs> <laughs> The chopsticks In the dark My, my dumbass thumbs <laughs> yeah, you That's not happening You'll pass me a fork With no lights Or a candle <laughs> Have you ever tried Fair. To be cool on a date And use the chopsticks It's like yo listen man I would never try to play myself Give me some utensils man I wouldn't yeah, but I've been on a date and asked for the utensils, and they've judged me. Like, oh, you never learned how to eat. No, bitch. No, always. No. Do you guys have forks? I don't know how to use the chopsticks. Yeah. It's from America, Queens. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See this little ass culture. rice? I'm not picking it up with a stick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then you really judge me if I just start eating with my hands like I used to. Yeah. <laughs> like don't, a barbarian in here. Eating the rice with your hands is yeah. crazy. That's the See, shit. And this is why you need to live alone sometimes. That is true. Because if, if bad enough, we getting judged on a date. Mm -hmm. Like now you just got to be in the house getting judged because you live with your significant other and she don't know how to live with people properly. <laughs> <laughs> she don't know how to let you eat with your hands yeah, properly. Yeah, like like can't that, can't poop with the door open anymore. And first uh, of all, like come on. And first of all, <laughs> come if on, you, sis. And if you moved in, like if I lived here already, don't tell me how to live now. You don't get to change I the lived rules. here. Yeah. When true. you move in, you live how we live in here. That's true. I we agree. eat with our hands here. Yeah. Get That's with so the cool. program. If we poop with the door <laughs> <Yeah>. open. <laughs> That door never closes when I shit. I just don't know why why, why women don't like women don't acquiesce. <laughs> nah, they take over. It's cool. I will say now that I got this bigger spot because before we was living on top of each other, and it's it's rough when you just gotta sit next to your significant other all the time. Like <laughs> I would take shits every five minutes. Like oh, got the runs again. <laughs> gotta go sit sit in the bathroom for forty five minutes. <laughs> yeah, and you have to do that because anytime you stare at your significant other too long, you just start noticing man flaws. <laughs> like, yo, Joe is so fucking yeah, stupid. Yeah, why do everybody think she's she not as fine as we all think? Like, just stop. Please. What? Stop. Oh, shit. You got a birthmark on your forehead? Like, I've never I'm looked. I'm crying I've never at looked more looked whispering. Joe, just stop. stop. Just, right. just stop. Just stop. All right. Just, just stop. <laughs> Joe, stop. stop. All, right. all right. Thank you. I know it's bad if Malto is yeah, stop. yeah, I'm, I'm stopping, buddy. Stop. Go ahead, Rory. Yeah, how, how's the space working out? Come on, Rory. Did you make, did you make a, a little guy cave? Pause. Yes, there's, there's a in guy the cave. No, I, there's a bathroom in the, Ooh, the man a cave. a dark oh, color shower mat. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'll show her. Okay, her. <laughs> Throw up my Nazomatic poster over here. <laughs> <laughs> you know shit about real hip hop. <laughs> See, I get mad at shit like, don't come live with me and then say, what are we eating? 
<laughs> what you mean? <laughs> Why? That's happening. <laughs> That's definitely happening. I th- well, did the stove move? <laughs> is it in a different room now? <laughs> Yo, new new age women don't cook. I'm, but I'm not talking about. But see, that's the thing. I'm not trying to be like that sexist guy that says, "Oh, you're a woman, you got to cook." What I'm saying is, I eat. I eat when I'm hungry. Are <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you don't like waiting for just the simple concept? You don't like synchronizing your meals. There's a room in this house that is designed for this. Yeah, <laughs> that, and it ain't move. If yeah. you go down there right now, the stove it's, in the same it's same right spot. there. It's right there. <laughs> I've eat. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you want Just the standards of, of what this world We came into We have to live by I don't think you should live Or be near One single person All the time No matter what It's a little unreasonable like, It's a little unreasonable I will take any version Of love you want My mother at My significant other My friends I don't want to be around my, One my person For that long <laughs> Like I need some time away Well I say the same thing About living in the same city well, hold on, hold on, for, I say the same state Yeah <laughs> No, same city. Oh. Like, same place. You only want to live in the same city as any girl. No, no, no. Oh, I'm <laughs> Maul is ruthless. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Tough crowd. <laughs> That's not what that I was. You can't give yourself. I was referring to what, <laughs> what Joe was, what, what Rory said about seeing, like, being up under the same person. Yeah. So, every day like that. Right. Like, it, it gets to a point where it's like, fuck. Like, let me tell you I how. I don't it, think you uh, should live in the same city, like, for ever. Let me tell you That's what happens. Crazy. When you live with that person, the way you describe it, you end up having that that argument where she's hungry and want to know what's for dinner or some shit, but it's some leftovers in the fridge that you really vibe with. <laughs> you ever had that one? Yeah, yeah. it's bad. Yeah, yeah. It's and don't really let bad. her say she had that for lunch. I'm not having that. <laughs> what you mean you're not having? It's a word. It's she's over. Not, she's not, not having it for no, lunch. No, the and leftovers dinner. is breakfast, lunch, and dinner, <laughs> <laughs> and it tastes better the next day. Where you come from? That's I true. agree. The yeah. leftovers are leftovers way better. That's a fact. Have you ever had? I don't know uh, why women don't Have you ever had those. second day chicken Alfredo? Second day chicken anything is better. Second day chicken period oh. is better. Fried, I don't know like what second, happens to Alfredo sauce wings, after a day chicken. when it turns into the greatest sauce. Second ever. day spaghetti is incredible. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Girl. When are you gonna stop wetting the bathroom floor? Oh, so you want me to dry off in the shower? <laughs> <laughs> No, if you want me to step out dry, <laughs> I just want to know if that's what you're asking nah, me to do. she wants you to shake like a dog inside the shower. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. No, <laughs> yeah, now I'm in the shower doing doing this. Yeah. <laughs> at, at the end of it. <laughs> yeah. Get all that water off. Of yeah, get the fuck out of here. No. No, nah, I want to know what my current beef is. Come on, let's trash woman worry. <laughs> well, I can't trash Sam. I love Sam. But. <laughs> <laughs> However, but. <laughs> with that said. Uh, I did everything in my my life to just try to get two bathrooms. Like that was a goal mm. of mine. Like I'm gonna make enough that's a money. Fucking that's strong. I'm gonna goal. be like, yo, yeah. I'm gonna have two bathrooms because sharing a bathroom with a woman or anyone, period, mm-hmm. yeah, sucks. Yeah, yeah. especially yeah. when you have similar schedules. No, don't do don't shit. run from it with women. Yeah. Y'all are nasty. <laughs> no, y'all are nasty fucking creatures, and you shed. <laughs> Yo, I'm having an issue now in my bathroom. Now all of, them, now all of a sudden the water, the water won't go down the fucking shower drain. Please stop. <laughs> I said, yo, hey, yo, my water ain't going down the shower head. Fucking home improvement ass bitch talking about get the, what's the thing? Oh, the, what's uh, the, 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 the rooter. Yeah, the fucking shit. You the know snake? The, yeah, the snake. snake. Yeah. So I just snake it. Bitch, you fucking handy ass. How about stop shedding the fucking shower? Shedding. Bitch, I'm bald. <laughs> Now the water just bubbling up to the top. Yeah. Now it's a race between my knees and the dirty water. You got to get that little thing that you put inside the drain that catches all the hair. No, I got to get a bitch that don't shed. Well, that too. That I don't helps. know where you're going to find. Yeah, it doesn't exist. You're going to tell me to go to Home Depot, get a snake. No, bitch, you a snake. <laughs> Stop shedding. Yeah. Stop shedding. You shed your skin every month. Yeah, Jesus. You oh heathen. Oh, my God. <laughs> y'all are sick. Now, women are definitely no, more... I, uh, I don't understand how y'all can sit here and tell me all of this shit and then tell me, yo, you got to get a girlfriend. <laughs> no. Nah, that's dead ass. Nah, that's dead ass. It's, it's great. That's dead ass. It's great, bro. Now that's dead ass. They're great. They're great. It's really great. They're dope. Really great. Dope. They're great. It's really great. Girls is yeah, dope, Yeah, I know. They're very emotionally supportive. I yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I know. Well, no, anyway, so I finally get the two. Like, I finally get it. Mm-hmm. 29 she take, she years took old. Both, she took, took both, took me 29 years old to get two bathrooms. She took both. No, you better not say that. One's the makeup room and one's the bathroom. Okay. Stop. We get the main joint that's close to the bedroom. Uh-huh. Turn that into the shower shit, whatever. Yeah. I then go take a shit in the other bathroom Market while territory. she's in there. Doing the exact goal of why I wanted two bathrooms. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I come out and she said, did you just shit in that bathroom? I said, yes. Said, I'm not cleaning two bathrooms. We're just using this bathroom. 
What? I said what? No, that is the most. <laughs> that's some girly shit. There's yeah. definitely a shit that's bathroom and shit. a shower. That's bathroom. a smart system. And yeah. now, now parks. I'm, I'm shitting on you now. <laughs> Now, Parks, it is now a beauty makeup bathroom. Wow. So I'm she, sorry. I'm sorry for your loss, my brother. So she you tricked sh- me into saying we're not going to use that one. That's going to be like a guest one. <laughs> and we're going to just messy up this one and we'll clean that one. Now, it's just the makeup one. So you, you know to, how messy you makeup is on a, a white sink? So you have to look at yourself while you're taking this shit now in the, in the makeup bathroom? <laughs> There's bright lights everywhere. Oh, I hate it's that. like a vanity mirror while you're taking this shit. No, there's construction uh, down the block. I just use a porta potty over there. You guys, yeah. are you guys, yeah. are you guys sharing? Yeah, put a, put a little bathroom out in the little balcony thing you got there. <laughs> just uh, a porta potty. Yeah, fuck it, man. Just put some newspaper in the middle of the living room. And just, you know, just do, do, squat. Do like ba- do like Basley. <laughs> yeah, just, just get like, like, like this spot. Just get a little wee wee pad, my nigga. Are you guys sharing a closet? <laughs> no, we have, we have different closets. Right, there yeah. you go. You got <sighs> men's rights. No, that was a, men's rights. That was a Fight for one. something. <laughs> different closets, thank God. What were we talking about before a toxic rant that Bill Burr got us into? <laughs> Thanks, Bill. Uh, I think I don't we're talking even remember about Bill what Burr. we're talking about. <laughs> well, YG and Kaylani are together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love. <laughs> Wonder what bathrooms they'll share. <laughs> he looked like he had a nice house on the news. <laughs> Goal. All right, scream, man. We Goals. don't need to see them together. <laughs> All right, no, I'm kidding. I don't really want to talk about YG and Kehlani. Oh, Hope they're happy. Uh, Banks thinks we're crazy. We are. <laughs> yes, Banks, we are We are crazy. We Thank you that. for noticing. Yes. Us or just people? No, I think he was talking about us. We're the people. <laughs> I think he meant this living room. We speak for the people. Banks said he is not retiring and fuck is you niggas talking about? He said one sarcastic tweet did all of this question mark. Calm the fuck down, Joe Budden podcast. <laughs> Rory specifically. <laughs> yeah, it's about that. All right. Well, well let's get sar- to well, sarcasm, we never said he was sarcasm dick. isn't sarcasm if you have to explain it. So I understand him in that regard. Uh, Though a lot of my sarcasm be made true. None of us, <laughs> you know what it is? We don't speak to Lloyd enough for us to know when he's typing sarcastic texts. I've never heard anyone call him Lloyd. And I don't think people know enough about Lloyd Banks' personality <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. to know. <laughs> Yo, you heard the new Lloyd? <laughs> to know when he's being sarcastic. We don't know if Lloyd Banks is funny. We have never even seen him smile. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> and he made the song smile. <laughs> it didn't smile great, great song by the way great song yeah, can say, you can't say I want to be the reason yeah. you smile you ain't smiled in 10 yeah. years <laughs> <laughs> alright so Banks did not retire and Maul brings up a good point he never said he retired he or smiled well, no, he said he for. retired a long time ago and then said I'm not retiring and then did this uh, no one's checking for me tweet so at one point he did say he was done that happened yo so all of this leads to my point of Rappers do need a better way to retire. We don't have a we don't have a proper retirement plan because rappers can't retire. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. No, we rappers don't, do don't right retire. Now. The yeah, game yes, the do. game retires rappers. People say that, but that's not. I, well, I disagree. With that. I just disagree. Majority with that. of the times, that. it's that way. I disagree. With that. I game ain't retiring a, rappers. Show me one rapper that has retired while he was like being really successful. I, we'll never have that conversation you know successfully why? because we we look at success differently. No, that, no, we know what success is. Well, you think that going gold is successful? Going go- right now, going gold is, is successful. successful. And even like most I rappers, know. there's very few rappers that are I, I, retire. Even like the '90s rappers, '80s rappers, are still touring still all rapping. over the that, fucking that's world. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You don't they're retire working. from rap. But what I'm saying is, more and a few of these fan niggas be acting like if you maintain a steady, uh, independent career and make your living off of selling sixty thousand records a year. That's fine by me. Mm-hmm. Not, I'm not talking about me. I'm just saying, period. For you, you would say the game forced that person into retirement. And I can't think like that because I know how lucrative it is if you could sell 60,000 of something no, no, no. If you're every still, year If you're still selling 60,000 records, you should not be retiring. Facts. No, I mean, I'm it, talking about those that can't get a show anywhere. There's no promoters calling to book them anywhere. They can't put out... Well, in, in this era, it's stupid to say you can't put out music because you literally can just upload a fucking project whenever you want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, which is why, even, even more now, I think it's stupid when rappers retire. Because it's like, you can put out a project right now and if it's if it's decent at best, people are going to find your old shit and want to stream that. 
Right. Like, damn, like, I never even heard of this dude. You know what I mean? Like, because that whole audience exists now online. Right. The ones that never even heard of you. There's a, there's a whole audience that never probably heard of Lloyd Banks' album. Or shit, if you put out some trash and they're like, nah, I got to go back to the old shit now. Yeah. Please. Somehow, <laughs> somewhere, you're going to be able to make some money and move some units. Correct. Like, because the way we consume music now is so easy. It's the press of a button. Yeah. You don't have to go to a store and say, hey, do y'all have that first Lloyd Banks album in here? Right. And a nigga don't have to go in the basement and start going through boxes right. looking to see if he has it. You can literally press a button. And his first album's in your phone now. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, it's just crazy for rappers to even think about retiring right now. It's just crazy. I miss the mom and pop stores. Me too. I do. Yeah, that was a that was an experience. It was an era. They're still around a little bit, but mostly yeah. vinyl. Hey, uh, hey, good, hey, good luck Shout to the ones that are Beats. still around. Yeah. There's one right, right around the corner. Dope. It's dope. What you got, Roy? Uh, should we get into power now? They say this is a big ass town. <laughs> they, uh, they, put back. The, they put the old song back like 50 said he would. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was refreshing. Yeah. And he directed this one, right? He oh, di- yeah. He directed this one, yeah. 603. Episode okay. 603. He directed. Um, is this the first one he directed? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. I oh. mean, he was in it before. He couldn't I mean, really he could direct, direct an act. No, it's, it's I happened. think he directed before. Okay. Did he? I think he directed one of the episodes before or co directed. No? Okay. And I, do I don't believe none. He's saying that. we just start talking about it. Ain't need check to know. Shit. Need to know. Man, check a fucking thing. Well, no, nah, he was doing interviews. I think it was with Hot or Power, and was saying he had to go through this whole process to be able he to had to, direct. Pay his dues. had to do a IMBD page. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's all it takes. That's part now. of the process. <laughs> <laughs> director. Yeah. I'm now change my Wikipedia. <laughs> I don't have an opinion on on but it's the last season, man. Go ahead and wild out. Fuck it. He might as well direct all this I, I shit. I do want to know experience. why all the guys that have been investigating Ghost for six seasons every day of their lives <laughs> did not notice him just chilling in the courtroom. He was wearing a hat. <laughs> and he had a toolbox. Yeah. Yo, that court scene is one of the worst scenes I've ever seen <laughs> in, in a hit show. Forget about that. Forget about that. <laughs> Something happened to uh, old, old drug lady lord girl in the, mm. in, in the courtroom. Yeah. Hyperventilating. Couldn't breathe. Hmm. Let's she drank bad water. She drank the bad water. <laughs> Nobody saw the water get switched when Homeboy switched it. That's fine, though. Yeah, well, no, first of all, that's regular. Uh, he got cash apped for a crime. <laughs> <laughs> On site, by the way. He said, ooh, money went through. Guess I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, shout, out, shout out to good old Garrett. <laughs> Another deal done. <laughs> cash app some shit. Shorty drunk some bad water. Hyperventilates. Has a seizure in the courtroom. Mad armed guards uh, escort her to the bathroom because this is super important and we need her to be well. She may yeah. have some information for us. Yeah. So now we're all going to turn our back to this bathroom. Wait, no, <laughs> we're going to send somebody in the bathroom first to Search make sure it. it's safe. The door that's closed with the out of order sign. I do got to look in there. That has to just be out of order. Yeah. I'm yeah. not going to look in there. No, no. So then I'm, gonna I'm leave not going to find Lala. No, why? <laughs> <laughs> just sitting there. <laughs> She wasn't even like <laughs> Spider Man against the wall. She was shut up. I was just on. John. <laughs> to that Texas Mellow. <laughs> like, the fuck out of here. <laughs> Yo, so they didn't do that. They just walked out the bathroom and everyone turned their backs and they were no longer looking at the bathroom, which allowed Tommy's goons uh, <laughs> to come in with the fake ambulance stretcher. It's like, fam, really? Is this what you want me to believe? But guess what? It's the last season. They're the season. uniforms. Huh? They're the uniforms. It's believable. Yeah, I, just want to, I just want y'all to know that it was really hard for me to watch. Wait, then they went downstairs and then go seen them. Ooh, but I can't kill you right Across here. the elevator. Yo, this is the most time, this is the most that I've ever seen two people need to kill each other, that want to kill each other, and just keep finding reasons to not kill each other when you see the person by mistake. Just Every episode how come, how These two they niggas fa- have seen they're family Joe you How can you kill Michael B. Jordan For being a face actor And you don't kill Ghost for being a face actor You don't really say much either Cause I don't think That Ghost is a face actor Okay I don't feel like that About him the way I feel About uh, uh, Michael B. Jordan He does a lot of faces I know But I also think That his acting Carries Carries a lot Of the bad acting So yeah. if he is a bad actor and I'm not saying he that. He might be the best actor it on that show. It covers a lot of bad acting on F. I cringe every time Tommy has a, a distribution meeting. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to talk about, if you want to talk about a class on some of the worst acting we've ever seen in the world, he told them but niggas Tommy to shut been... up or they would get a bullet sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> they shut up. But <laughs> Tommy was bad even when the show was good. Up. I'm not doing they, this. They, they, they did shut up. 
Tommy was, was, Tommy was, was trash even when the show Wait, was Wait, then he brought Lala to the drug meeting like I was bringing sin everywhere. I got yeah. a job for you. <laughs> yeah. I just, no, he said, I just got an idea. <laughs> As she walks in the room. Yeah. <laughs> It's bad In a fur looking mean I'm like but come I, on I knew where it was going Once them niggas Smoke Kanan's ashes On the roof <laughs> I said oh, I'll see Where they headed This season it's, Whatever goes You can just walk In that room And throw anything On the table They go like Let's do it <laughs> Wait and now So the nigga I didn't, He didn't kill Tommy Because his son Walked in while he was Trying to kill Tommy Or he was fighting With Tommy That's fine He's been fighting With his oldest son Or he's been fighting With Tariq For however many seasons His son hates him He's tried to get him Killed Set him up Hung with his Fucking worst enemy Kanan mm. And now You have to let him Back in the penthouse Huh <laughs> And yeah. tell him everything Oh yeah, boy. Would, After I all that would. I'd be like Nah be on my side I would <laughs> kick that little nigga to the curb so fast. <laughs> you would need a four stone quick, nigga. Sorry. All that my son shit. Oh, and now all the people I've been taking care of for six seasons, six seasons, all, uh, all find it, uh, uh, all convenient to kill me. All they want to kill me right now. Yeah. yeah. All of them. And they just thought of it sitting in the car. Mm, Tasha yeah. and Tommy. <laughs> Yo, Tommy, I ain't gonna lie to you. Time's been rather hard for me. That's a pretty good but, impression. It's <laughs> kind of spot on. But now that I think about it, if Ghost is dead, we are the beneficiary beneficiaries. Mm -hmm. Of all the illegal drug money that I'm sure they're not gonna seize. Yeah, no. <laughs> Listen, man. You know? I'm gonna watch. You have you to. <laughs> and, He's been invested and, for and, six years. And, and, and listen, let me shut up talking about this shit as much as I'm at this nigga's true club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put you in the scene real quick. <laughs> you ain't gonna even know the cameras is rolling. Mix me right up while I'm looking at Steph. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, but I am going to watch Shout out to 50 Shout out to everybody Involved yeah. in power And listen Just shout out For six successful seasons uh, Of a great show On cable television Something like that Yeah Yeah Listen I imagine it would be tough To Continue the, To just keep writing The hit show Yeah Like yeah. Game of Thrones Suffered It's true Like we can name A bunch of shows That suffered Yeah Speaking of cringeworthy bad I saw it too This weekend I heard that was bad That was pretty bad See, two hours I tweeted that a lot of people said you're crazy what was the last horror movie you saw uh, that shit was bad I mean it was funny because it was bad it was like the first one but not as good yeah but I and heard the first that, one was not I particularly that movie good is like two hours and 40 minutes it was long. fucking long I can't sit through another long bad movie I went to the 1040 oh you tried to we make, didn't a, get out of tried to make a night of it yeah <laughs> he tried to make it a day bro nah. I was ready to go yo more do the podcast with us <laughs> I was letting y'all talk about uh, Power We were talking about yeah. it too, Yeah we were talking about actually. it too yeah. we I didn't see the first one so yeah. He's gonna jump in And take himself out the convo yeah. <laughs> You got to sleep already <laughs> <laughs> I, I really don't actually uh, Do we have anything else to talk about? An opinion on Antonio Brown? Or are you still Still not watching? <laughs> oh the Patriots He's on the pads He's on y'all team Yeah Y'all can I don't bro watch. down on this one I don't watch football But I don't think it's gonna work Are oh, you don't watch football? Why don't you think it's gonna You're work? still, still boycotting? Hmm. You missed a hell of a week one <laughs> Yeah. yeah, football. I don't think it's gonna work this though. year. It's one hundred percent gonna work. I'm gonna be furious when Gronk comes back in December. Work. It's and gonna work. They're the greatest. Don't say fuck. That. It's gonna happen. That's, don't say no, that. It's gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. It's gonna happen. What well, don't Gronk you think already sound like he's gonna come back? Yeah, he just sound like he wanted to leave, get his weed business off the ground. And <laughs> That's it. And come yo, back. Hey, yo, chill. they'll be fine for seven games. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, they'll be back. Gronk only want to play for the playoffs. Yeah, I just don't think Antonio Brown is gonna be able to handle that system. He is. I really don't. Yeah. I think it'll be I fine. think all that shit he was doing in Oakland was to get the fuck out of there. All the shit he was doing and in leave Pittsburgh that money was to on get the table. Yeah. Nah. He can go get that money wherever wait, he wants. Wait, wait, wait. What money did he leave on the, the 30 table? Million. He took 30 mil from Oakland and gets 15 this year from uh the Patriots with a 20 million dollar team option. So he's potentially making more in the two years than the three. I don't think he left money. He left money on the table. Shit. He has but a he one potentially year deal. Makes more now. Pot you talking about potentially. If he would have just chilled for two more days in Oakland, he would have 30 million dollars. If he would have just relaxed for two more days, you don't want to play for a team. But actually, Oakland looked kind of good last what time. What did but Oakland? But, but but what did Oakland do wrong? They if they was no, working they with him, anything wrong. That's Listen, what I'm saying. They, so I just actually, don't, John Gruden stood by him the whole way. This is oh, what yeah. I'm trying to tell you. So it's just a, it's just a case of him feeling himself and him being a, a diva. All I think the, he just didn't want to oh, be there. So you're describing wide receivers. That's not true. all wide receivers. Like a lot that, of wide receivers. No. The good wide ones. Receivers, yeah. so. The good ones. Not like not to that not to that extent. That yeah. was what Antonio Brown did in Oakland was crazy. Don't you start talking Odell like Mike Greeny. Don't you start no, talking no, no, like I'm Mike Greeny. But it's true though. <laughs> Mike Greeny got on. I hate. I don't I hate even know what Mike Greeny said, and I, I I'm agreeing with him. Don't because that's ignorant. <laughs> Why? 
You don't know saying, what he said yet. If he's, saying, if he's saying that he was acting like a diva, that's not I what agree. he said. What do you nah. say? Mike Greeny said that uh, what he's witnessed from Antonio Brown is the most unprofessional act he has seen in the world of sports in his 30 years covering it. Maybe it is. The NCAA doesn't pay anybody. Aaron Hernandez went on a murdering spree. <laughs> he, he showed, so did Ray Lewis. He showed up for Ray, practice. Ray, 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 Ray Carruth put someone in the trunk. He showed in up for figure practice. figure skating, they're bashing bitches' knees in. He showed up for practice. <laughs> All right, we're going to end Aaron it. Hernandez was at practice. All right, we're going to talk He wasn't we're mad about the this. helmet. <laughs> like he, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he complied by all team rules. He was at, uh, at camp on time. Don't you worry, Ma. When he did away from the team, listen, that's a, something totally different. L-E. I'm just talking about Antonio Brown and what he did with the Raiders. That was crazy. G- <laughs> just saying it was crazy. We're going to see, though. We'll see. I don't see it working, though. It's going to work. I Unfortunately, I hate the Patriots. I think his ego is going to show up sooner or later. Mm. With what, though? With not getting not getting thrown to more than Did you see the shit Josh Gordon was doing the other night? Not oh, getting thrown to more than four times in the game. fucking unfair, bro. This, I, this is the and best. And Edelman. And Edelman word. <laughs> Probably the and, best wide receiver score that, back. that Brady's ever Sonny, had. Sonny Michelle with But that's Tom what Brady. I'm saying. So but, this is cheating. But this is yeah. but, but Anto- Antonio Brown wants it to be about him. We know. So him. okay, so now <laughs> he's in a position to where it's not about him. It's, it's never going to be about him. I think he's going to chill. I out. think he'll do perfectly fine. Yeah. Okay. I think we'll see. Unfortunately, I think it's going to work out really well. We shall see. And why is that unfortunate? Because I I'm tired of the Patriots winning every fucking season. Oh, because you're a Dolphin fan. And just in general, fan of football, I'm tired of watching the same team win every year. I mean, how many more years do you think they got? Uh, three. Whenever yeah, Tom two, Brady two, stops, they, they, they're, they're finito. And I don't even I don't think, know if that's true. Well, I was, my next statement <laughs> if was... If Belichick stays. My next yeah. statement, I don't, I don't credit Tom Brady more than I do Bill Belichick for the winning, but I do think that you need more than a Matt Castle and a Garoppolo. That's true. I don't think That's that it. they will be as dominant with someone else, but I think they will be still very fucking competitive. I think there's, Belichick a, stays I think there's a reason yeah. that Belichick wanted to hold on to Garoppolo, to Jacoby, sure. Jacoby Brissett. Yeah. To, That's why I was to, shocked when they traded him. He's them. wanted to hold on to all of them, yeah. actually, yeah. because he could spot the niggas that could work his system. I don't know if he feels that way now. Who's the backup now? I don't know. Uh, Br- Matt Hoyer? Brett Matt? Huh? No, it's a, it's a vet. It's a vet. Uh, Ed- it's Ed- Hoyer, Ed- I think. What did the they used Giants to play do? for the uh, Texans? Hmm? What did the Giants do? Oh, got smacked. Got, got, smacked. got spanked like a bad boy. But not as bad as like the Like a bad baby. Like bad Bobby. <laughs> Heard the Dolphins are trying. Everybody wants to trade. Yeah, they're bad, bad. 59, 10? Bad, like bad. Yeah. So it was bad, 42 bad, bad. to 3 was, in the first quarter. When that came quarter. across my phone, I was like, that has to I be I turned cool. that shit off. Yeah, but I don't know. I think the Dolphins might win a game before the Giants. I don't think so. Did you watch that game? <laughs> did you see the Giants game? <laughs> no, I didn't. It's bad. Damn, so it's another bad year for y'all? Yeah. Damn. Both yeah, of our teams bad. are tanking. It's really, really, really tanking bad. already. Tanking. Well, I don't, yo, think, yo. I don't think the Dolphins have a choice. Wait, real yeah. quick, because I'm, <laughs> I'm not trying to. We're not trying, not trying to do sports takes. Trying to end this podcast and go on about our merry way. But it does look like my my little mark my word segment about the Cleveland Browns might come to fruition. Everybody laughed me out of this room. What all did you say, summer. Mark? Your words? What? What did you say? I forgot what you said. I said no. We had an over under on when it was going to implode. Not. That it wasn't that going was, to. That was the most recent one. But since the Odell trade, and even, even before, ever since the Odell trade, I've been shitting on, we just don't know. I got to see it. We got to see it. And I think it's not going to go well. And I think it's too many personalities over there. We're going to see fist fights for a long time. That's what I said. Oh, we said if they already? win, they'll try to make it work. Yeah, but later that, later on, like right before game, the season started, we tried to get an over-under going. But yeah. watching week early, one. Or early on, that was a hot take that the Browns wouldn't be good and somebody would punch somebody else in the face. That was like... Oh, they beefing already. No, but... No, it, but... It's you get the coming. writings on the wall. You could see it. You could see it coming. Yeah. They lost their first game, right? Yeah. yeah. Pretty handily, yeah. Mm. Yeah, but they traded their... their, their well, what I, what I hear is their second best offensive line, uh, of, uh, O-lineman, because I don't know much about their O-lineman, to the Giants, which meant that Baker Mayfield was running for his life all day long, Yeah, which resulted in what we saw and if that continues to happen got you we just watched that happen with eli and like yeah Yeah. and what do you know when that line ain't secure that quarterback that we heard about all summer who could finally throw the ball down the field they were shitting on eli yeah they killed him and granted maybe rightfully so and he he, he can't throw it down the field anymore but without an offensive line mahomes ain't gonna throw it down nobody gonna throw the offensive line is the most important position in football by far if your offensive line is trash, you are finito. 
Because now your offense is off the field quick. Now your defense is on the field the yeah, entire game. Well, that's it's why I get. Bad. That's why you I can't throw. Deshaun you can't pass. Watson even more credit. Yeah. I don't think Houston has a very good offensive line. No, well they got <laughs> our starting left tackle, but that was like two days ago, so it's gonna take a while to make sense. Yeah, he getting all that off with a uh, he got sex average O line. Yeah. yeah. All right. Unfortunately, gentlemen, I have a hard out because I have to go have lunch with my love and hip hop cast. It's eight p.m. Nobody ever, <laughs> nobody ever eats at lunch. Yeah, no. Love him, no. No, 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 I'm just going there to see who's going to throw a cup at my. <sighs> We've done it again, gentlemen. Outfit change, I like, I like it. I like the pod. The Kings. Niggas <laughs> <laughs> changing outfits and shit. No, uh, you, only you. Not niggas. Don't, don't that's put what that niggas home. is. Don't oh, yeah, do that. Yeah. Don't nah, do wait, that. Wait till our 2020 yeah. podcast tour. We have like three outfit change per city. Woo. You did that last tour. <laughs> 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 what are you talking about? That's not Mad new. Amy. That's mad on brand for you. Uh, <laughs> mad some smoke Being too. on brand is pretty funny. Uh, this was a cool podcast. This, 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 this was cool. I'm going to fuck out of here. I'm going to throw drinks at Rich Dollars. <laughs> <laughs> That's your Creep, creep Squad brother, though. And, and then have lunch with Pap about it. <laughs> Yo, did I tell you what happened with me and Rich? <laughs> <laughs> at the party. Yo, that's crazy. Yo, you yeah. Drama at the party? You yeah, didn't hear about man. it? Yeah, Rich really wound down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold up, man. I'm supposed to be playing the fucking little intro music. Someone, what do you niggas talk? What did we come on to? Down that's a great question. What I are we forgot to. in front of this shit? Uh, Mike. Mike Hove. Ah, Mike, 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 Mike. Mike Jackson and uh, add some Hove in there. <laughs> the Michael Hove. Michael Hove. Michael Hove. Mike, Michael Hove. You know the Mike Hove. Engine. The Hove engine's got it for y'all. <laughs> y'all probably forgot about this joint. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this was good, man. What's happening this weekend? Anything? Well, this was Fashion Week. I got to watch a bunch of uncultured niggas talk about their favorite show that they attended. Oh yeah, Thursday was <laughs> to do a little recap. Or Friday, Saturday, whatever day we want to yeah, recap. Yeah, one, one of these days we'll, yeah, be, we'll yeah, be back do a at it. Fashion yeah. recap. Yeah, and I, yeah. I want to check Fashion Maul, Week. Maul and yeah. Roy's temp before they get back out there in the streets. Also, I told y'all, <laughs> I told y'all that. Uh, uh, did anybody watch Nadal versus Medvedev? No. What a match! Yeah. What a match! Uh, we didn't talk about it here because they hit our sports takes. But that Medvedev <laughs> dude, that was a match. Match. That shit was like seven hours long. It was a great match. Yeah, so, tennis so, Twitter was hype. Yeah, no, nah, attended. Uh, the, uh, the open was good. Uh, it was. The Serena match. The the Osaka girl that ended up losing. I think age has finally caught up to Serena. Uh, uh, I'm not mad at anybody's take. She did just have a baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah for her to even get <laughs> yeah. back to this level was crazy. She was doing it pregnant. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm, not, I'm not really going to judge her just yet. Yeah. Um, yeah. In the meantime. Uh, life is a series of moments and moments pass, so let's make this one last as if it's all that we have. Until no justice, no gas. Oh, uh, remixed in there. <laughs> no justice, no gas. no gas for none of you niggas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Uh, and listen, I've been getting a lot of I've been getting a lot of comments and messages and tweets from the ladies saying, "All right, Joe." Enough is enough with your little ending poem. It's offensive. We're cringing. Like, I thought you were an equal opportunist Man, podcast. <laughs> no, 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 Rory. It's not the time to be toxic at the end. We do that the rest of the podcast. Let's be welcoming now. So, ladies, I am, we, I'm, I'm going to put together something for you guys because we ain't shit, too. And those are funny, <laughs> no, too. Of course. So, And when I figure it out, we'll get there. But until then, <laughs> remember, <laughs> she's not cute. She's young. Uh, she's not thick. She's on her tippy toes. She doesn't have hips. She's sitting on a sink. She doesn't have a sense of humor. She grew up with brothers. Uh, she doesn't like you. She's hungry. The drain's not clogged. She's shedding. Yeah. That's fucking... She's, she's not bisexual. She's drunk. <laughs> yeah, now, that is a really important... That's an important one. Somebody else gave me an important one. She's, uh, she's not angry. Up. She's just sexually frustrated and doesn't know how to properly express her feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And remember, she is not protecting her peace. She is avoiding all accountability, failing to realize how her actions have a negative impact on not only her life, but others, other lives as well. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to figure it out for the dudes, man. Remember, he's not an athlete. He's just tall. Uh, his mom is not <laughs> staying with him. It's the other way around. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the dude one might be yeah, funny. Lady, lady, don't worry. I got y'all, lady. I, I, I hear, I hear it. I see the tweets. We are gonna get into these bum ass niggas soon. Until then, man, me and Maul are gonna trick this money on these hoes. You know, <laughs> you, you already know the vibrations. Have a blast. Talk to you soon. We are out of here. One.
Noodle bun. <laughs> <laughs>